kurudiwa wacha without much further ado wacha ni wacha ni invite nani wacha ni invite eh, rafiki yangu nimeleta leo tuongee naye tukuwe na we have a conversation around uh, nini life uh, school in the, nini life of an international student in the US eh, talk about more vile unaweza kuja vile alikuja alafu kama kuna maswali pia mnaweza mnaweza uliza eh hey, bana eh hey. Without much further ado, Maze, watch and welcome. Eh, rafiki yangu, none other than Maze, Makofi na Nderemo. Kwa none other than eh jamaa wangu wa nguvu. Ameenda state ameenda state haijaenda wa Kenya wengi. Eh? Jamaa wangu kiprop Maze. Eh? Eh? Drum roll, drum roll. Kiprop ni aje bana. Ni aje mtu wangu. Eh, ni kwa salama, ni kwa salama. Unanisikia vizuri? Eh yeah, nakusikia loud and clear nakusikia mm-hmm. loud and clear. Yeah. Yeah. So leo tunaongelea maneno ya shule. Eh, kama kutakuwa na wasee wenye wanataka kuuliza maswali kuhusu maneno na student visa, maneno ya ku survive eh, in the US as a student ukiwa na F1 status ya yeah, na what is life after school? So those are the kind of things we will be dealing with there. Tukiwa ah. hapa. So wewe katambe sasa. Ah bana. We kiprop by the way kiprop uko state gani sasa hii? Sasa hii mimi niko Minnesota, northern part of Minnesota. Niko msituni tu bado. Uko kunaka <laughs> kutoka msituni. Msituni ndio una survive. Hmm? <laughs> we northern eh? part of Minnesota una Duluth. Niko juu ya Duluth. Oh, huko na huko karibu na nini? Duluth karibu na huko su Lake Superior. Yeah, sasa lakini sasa ni one hour north of Duluth. I am oh. like two hours to Canadian border. Yeah. So yeah. bado niko msituni tu bado. Hakuna nilichapa kitu inaitwa parallel line from North Dakota direct TV. So si kuteremka hata. <laughs> <laughs> Unajua hiyo by the way kiprop hiyo tukiongea mambo ya North Dakota si wa si wa Kenya wengi wamekanyaga North Dakota wanaweza yeah yeah very few Kenyans wanaweza ongelelea North Dakota guys yeah ambia watu North Dakota ni state na kaje by the way um sasa kitu ya kwanza ni mm-hmm. mimi nikiapply shule sikuwa najua geography ya America tafadhali yeah. mimi nilikuwa najua America ni America sikuwa najua <laughs> geography wherever <laughs> sijui Texas iko upande gani hapana mm-hmm. mimi the first thing you require driving force was the kind of program i was looking for mm-hmm. so i didn't care so much about what is where am i going in america niko ni bora ni meland states hivyo ndio iko hiyo ndio ta so bwana mimi nimepanda ndege nimefika amsterdam ni can land minneapolis Ah, bado naona tu magorofa na nikasema asi huku iko tu noma sana si niko tu marekani Uh-huh. Eh sasa nikakaa I just stayed uh, in Minneapolis like one week. Okay. Alafu nika nikapanda bus nikaenda Grand Forks. Uh-huh. Sasa sinaelekea Grand Forks. Uh-huh. Sasa vile sasa nimepita Fargo bwana. Uh-huh. Naanza sasa kuingia mahali penye sioni nyumba. <laughs> hmm? Sasa in my mind I'm like huku ni wapi penye ni Eh yeah. <laughs> nimepita Fargo tu hivi naona mashamba sasa nimeingia sasa kwa mashamba eh so ideally North Dakota ni ya, ni ya agriculture ni, ni farmland eh mm-hmm. so nime, nilifika Grand Fox bwana hakuna hata building inapita gorofa mbili ni kama ni kama Mosoria tu huko nyumbani <laughs> LD ni heri eh <laughs> Ideally a gorofa hakuna gorofa kubwa sana huko as in then it's very sparsely populated but um, nikajiambia sijui kama nitatoboa cuz mimi nilikuwa najua kitu ya kwanza ni uh-huh. eh, on how to survive in America ni kunetwork kunetwork so mimi i knew nobody to be sincere mm eh si kwa najua mtu yote so see, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. not that see evil you au jui watu lakini na mali umeenda tena Eh yeah, sasa si, unajua nilifika Minneapolis wase walikuwa wananiuliza unaenda wapi naambia yeah. North Dakota wanafanyia hivi kichwa. Eh yeah. wanafanyia hivi kichwa. Mm? So it's a very conservative state ni karibu 90% eh, 90% white people so it's very conservative. 
Eh? Eh, ni 90% kabisa to be sincere. No, eh? by the way unajua ukweli. Mimi vile so mimi 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 nililand nililand uh, Denver. Oh, Denver, Colorado. Eh, hey, so nika spend Christmas Colorado uh, wiki kama tatu. Mm -hmm. before, before January niingie Fargo. So na kila mzungu nilikuwa namuuliza by the way, nilikuwa namuuliza eh uh, walikuwa wananiuliza unaenda wapi na naenda no, naenda mm. Fargo North Dakota. Unajua wazungu walikuwa wananiambia hata Americans don't even live in <laughs> <laughs> You know that, eh, wana toroka. But so what happens is, eh, wase wenye, those Americans wenye wale, wanapenda kukape nye wale zaliwa, yep. wanaendanga huko, by the time wanafika their 60s, they go, come back home. So wanarudu huko. So most of the people wenye wako na watidakota ni waze tu. Waze are actually more than 50 years old. Yeah. yeah. Huko so, wenye lazima upende. Huko lazima hmm? upende kuka. Kwa sababu... Yeah, yeah. Most people, yeah, most people unapata huko ni natives, which is... Yeah, natives and also, and also what to do in uni patriotic kwa mali penye walizaliwa. Mali pali waliza. Eh, hey, so, yeah. jani yako ya US ilianza wapi pala? Ilianza, yani... So, I can say this, eh? Mm -hmm. I knew what I was doing. So, mineza kuambia hivi, for me, nilikuwa najua kukua shule in the US is very difficult. It's so difficult to 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 maneuver when you stay in school for a very long time. Mm -hmm. So Mimi, what I wanted is I wanted a way I can expertise my time in the spend kwa shule. No, no. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to cut off that uh, that time frame whereby I will be in a school for the shortest time possible and also to do a relevant degree. That's the most important. So most of Kiwa Kenya nilikuwa na jaribu. Because before, I, I seek one interest in the U.S. Kabisa. To be sincere, seek one interest in the U.S. In fact, I have my uncle, my uncle, who was able to apply Canada. Because me, I was able to do a degree in Kenya. I was able to do biochemistry in Kenya. So I had okay. done biochemistry, and I was able to do a PhD and a master's. So okay. I really wanted to move out. Now, me, my destination was Canada. So nilikuwa nimeanza I used to write a very good statement of purpose na apply my shule Canada. So nilianza na University of Calgary nika apply hiyo haikuingiana. Most of the professors when you walikuwa kwa hiyo university walikuwa ma Chinese. Na most of the time they will require you to get a supervisor prior to admission. So unajua graduate school vile mm -hmm. So most mm -hmm. of the schools in Canada yes you will submit an application but before you get an acceptance letter, what I we need you to have a research supervisor who will be your supervisor. Kwa okay. sababu unaitaji yu kitu inaito tuition waiver. Ah. Unajua hivyo, sasa graduate school, most of the Canadian graduate schools, masters and PhDs, ni, ni wakona tuition waiver. For yes, you to okay. end, you go as an undergraduate research assistant, graduate research So most of the time, our my supervisor walikuwa kiona kama wewe unatoka Africa bwana hawataki eh so nili apply karibu mashule tatu Alberta na nika apply nyingine inaitwa Newfoundland lakini ni hawako wananipea hiyo hiyo funding okay so ikakuwa ngumu so nikasema ah aisuru acha tu ni ni niende ni, 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 ni fanye ni, nione on how i can maneuver kwenda states That's okay so, meanwhile, nilikuwa Kapsabeth. Nilikuwa nafanya internship Kapsabeth kama kwa lab, eh? Oh, see, eh, Kapsabeth County Referral Hospital. So, nilikuwa nimepata experience ya kukua lab technology. I okay. was really experienced. So, nikajiambia, how can I get to be a lab technology? So, unajua sasa Kenya, mtu mwenye amefanya biochem, tuko very limited First of all, kuna hii body Kenya inaito Kenya Medical Laboratories, Technologists and Technicians Board. Mm -hmm. So your body, they only recognize wase wenye wamefanya medical lab. Mtu mwenye wamefanya microbiology, BSC, wanaita hiyo okay. monodiscipline. Wase wenye wamefanya monodiscipline, biotechnology, biochemistry, clinical, eh, in, kuna industrial chem. Hizo madikrizi nyo unonanga jayi kwa tuwanajo kuhizieka machina Sana. Uh -huh. That's the problem. Uh -huh. Iso my degree Kenyan is a research. 
the only mali penye unaweza pata kazi na hizo research ni Kemri, Isipe eh, na maybe Kep na Makalro. Ah. <laughs> kwa mali kwa mali kuna nini? Kwa lab utaenda uku research. Eh research, not a clinical lab, si ile ya ya, ya ya watu. Okay. So so unajua sasa kutama ni really kwa sababu the last time mimi nilisikia Kemri ki recruit ni 206 bwana. Yeah. 206 Hizi zote hizi hizi ni my internship tu. The last time cuz mimi nilifanyia nilifanyia uh, attachment yangu Kemri. Okay. Na nilimuuliza wase hapo nje tulikuwa hapo. The last time Kemri iliandika watu permanent ni 2006. Eh? <laughs> last time waliandika watu 2006. Yes, 2006. So yeah. mimi aliniambia tu wewe ona vile unaweza chomoka tu. Hakuna uwezi pata kazi. Hapa hakuna nini namna? Mm, hakuna ni my internship tu hizo zenye wanapeananga internship yenye wanalipa karibu 20k. Na ni six months internship umetoka. Umetoka. Mm? Eh. Yeah. So anikasema I have to see. Sasa nikaenda nikaenda poli. Actually siku na juu ya kuwa naweza enda US. Nilikuwa nataka kukuwa na medical lab but kuna jamaa kanipea idea kaniambia uh-huh. si uende uende poli ufanye diploma ukimaliza hiyo diploma yako kwa medical lab unaweza ingia county na uta... ukishaingia county na hiyo diploma umeandikwa kazi in the meanwhile unangua ile degree yako ya biochem na unawekwa kwa job group oh we oh, una, unaingia na diploma Ewe, kwa... unaingia na diploma once umeingia na diploma unangua ile degree unawekwa job group ya wasi wenye wako na degree count oh so una, una, unatafuta mahali utapenya tu ndani alafu kisha hey, ndani Eh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sasa hivyo ndio wase wanafanya. Okay. Uko, uko na ile degree yako ya university unaweka kando. Unaenda unachapa diploma poli ama RVVT hapo LD. Yeah. Ukimaliza diploma yenye unataka kidogo kidogo unangoa unachomoa ile. Sasa unaweka ile job group ya wase wenye wako na degree count. It was a very nice idea. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, alafu minu wale nilikuwa bado natafuta mashule. So nikaona nika google tu medical laboratory programs in the US na mimi okay. naambianga watu sana sana hakuna anga formula ya kupata shule you just google this mm-hmm. nothing mm-hmm. and you just google nika nikatafuta medical laboratory the first one in lipop up ilikuwa university of north dakota UND yeah UND that was the first one na mimi hata siku hesitate nili click to hivi ku click hivi na nikaingia kwa our program website nikaona kitu inaitwa 4 plus 1 root 4 plus 1 root ni nini? 4 plus 1 root. Na najaribu kuambia watu sana watafute hiyo. Kama wewe si mtu mwenye unataka kuenda kuja masters, kuna root inaitwa 4 plus 1 root. Ni plus ile ya plus ama nini? Eh, plus ya, yeah. 4 plus 1 root. Eh, hey, 4 plus 1 root ni gani? Tuambie. Eh? 4 plus 1 root inamaanisha hivi eh? mm-hmm. You can take your four year credits, university credits add one year of the clinical program and okay. graduate with another degree within one year ah wewe we. unaleta ile yako ya Kenya unaongeza okay. mwaka mmoja marekani na unapata mwaka degree mwaka. ah unaongeza degree un, 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 eh unapata degree as in you bring your four years in Kenya and mm-hmm. come to school one year in the US and then you get another second degree in what you so, came for so unakuwa na mbili unakuwa na unakuwa na mbili na ya huku eh ah we so na hiyo utasoma utasoma hiyo undergrad one year one year na unapata okay. degree na umemaliza so what i did niliona tu hivi na nikajua tu hiyo hapa ndio mimi nimeangukia sikufikiria okay. mara mbili sikufikiria mara mbili so uh-huh. nika submit application wakaniuliza hiyo nini yangu yote nikasubmit nikapea nikapeana an official transcript alafu tu wakataka nifanye kitu inaitwa west okay World Edu- west una yeah. unafanya credentials una convert credentials za Kenya into za Marekani so unafanya evaluation ya degree oh, yako ile mm. transcript ile transcript zako world yeah. tumia, world tumia world education services kufanya nini yako yeah. Yes nilitumia World Education Services. Ina course okay. unafanya yo yenye inaitwa course by course evaluation. Ah. In, in a cost 268 dollars. 
course okay. by course evaluation so kwa sababu unajua Kenya ni Kenya vile iko sio kama hapa unaenda tu unaambiana watume transcript zako so mm-hmm. Kenya unachukua hizo original yenye uko nayo unaenda hadi kwa university huko penye ulisomea you talk to your register mimi ilibidi ni niongee na register nilimtumia fair hata register cause shule zilikuwa zimefungwa okay nikaambia register tukutane kericho cause mimi nilikuwa kabianga we ngoja rewind eh. ati kericho eh Oh register wa nini wa Jaiquat? Wa Kabianga, mimi nilikuwa University of Kabianga. Oh, guys, sasa una University, kuna University of Kabianga. Yes, hiyo kama hiyo we, mimi unajua mimi siku hizi by the way nimekuja nimekuwa nikisikia KCA. Kuna time mimi kitambo nakumbuka KCA ilikuwa college, nilisikia nilisikia So, hiyo hiyo college ilikuwa anga ya Moi. Ilikuwa okay. Kabianga University College, ilikuwa anga Moi vile okay. kibaki alipeana chata 2013 wakafungua mm-hmm. hizo ma college hizo ma university zote zenye zilikuwa za moi zikakuwa okay. pamoja ilikuwa pamoja na Chekwele University okay. of Edinburgh okay. so zote zikafunguliwa zikakuwa eh, eh, independent universities ah yes okay. so ulienda university of kabianga, kabianga. eh nilikuwa university of kabianga yeah okay. so ikabidi nikaenda hadi huko nikaambia register nimepata nimeapply shule and i need to send my transcripts to us so mm-hmm. what the register did akaniambia leta hizo zako original so what they do they take your original transcripts okay they scan and print them upia okay. and then they have to certify it wana stamp ku certify ni kuweka stamp so wana mm-hmm. certify now you can be in your neka certify true copies mm-hmm. of the original Uneka ina sealed envelope yenye iko na logo ya university. Okay. Na register na kuandikia hapo from University of Kabianga mm-hmm. sio wewe na uneka to World na, Educational Services mm-hmm. na wana na wana seal na wanaeka hiyo seal ya confidential. Okay. Kwa sababu we are very serious by the way. Kuna watu wamerejectiwa na hiyo kitu. Kuna uh-huh. watu wanaweza reject hizo transcripts. So you make sure kabisa wes kan always joy ya kuwa ni wengi umefanya hizo vitu. So mm-hmm. after shule inakupea kwaza watatuma wakiweka hapo kwa mail itakaa one month. So mm-hmm. what you have to do after register amekuundia hiyo staff yote unaenda kwa posta yenye iko kwa penye hiyo town iko kwa hiyo university. So kama mm-hmm. mimi nilienda tu Kericho nikaenda kwa G4S <coughs> nikalipa ngiri nne. Nikaeka first mail ngiri nne. Within three days ilikuwa wes nilikuwa imefikia west west eh. west coast state gani eh west, west? inakuanga new york okay okay eh west inakuanga new york so within so three days ika ika eh. ika new york mm. eh west wakafanya <coughs> evaluation so wana convert hiyo second up cause mimi nilikuwa na second up wana mm-hmm. convert hiyo second up ya kenya wanaweka into gpa ya mm-hmm. uh-huh. yeah so na minimum admission requirements hiyo time yenye nilikuwa nikiapply ilikuwa 2.87 So mimi nilikuwa hata na GPA ya 3.56. So ilikuwa wow. very high. We so, unaona do tulifanya the same thing by the way. Unaona eh, degree ya Kenya ukikonvertiwa into hapa una unapita sana. Eh unapita mimi vitu nilikuwa na B Kenya niko na A Marekani. Inakuanga hiyo unasonga mbele. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> vitu ulikuwa na C inakuwa B. Inakuwa B. Mm-hmm. Eh. Yeah. So ma, mtu asiwahi kukudanganya masomo yetu iko chini. <laughs> Afanya. Nasikia anga watu oh degree ya Kenya is, is, itakusaidia vizuri sana. Ambia yeah. watu. Yeah, yeah. Masomo yetu ni ngumu. Degree yako ya Kenya itakusaidia very well. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? Masomo yetu ni ngumu, ni ngumu sana. Eh. Yeah. So yeah. after mimi nimefanya hivyo <coughs> eh West wakatuma sasa shule. So what you do after West wamemaliza evaluation, una log in tu na unaambia West watume yeah. transcripts waende shule hata sasa hii mimi nitseme nataka ku apply phd mahali ama masters i don't need na sidil na kabianga tena sasa west ni kama store yangu sasa umemaliza na so west na nalipa dola karibu kumi ya shipping na wanatuma kwa hiyo shule yenye nataka ah. so that's the good thing ya kufanya west so wana kukipia transcripts zako so unatuma tu wherever you want so okay. wakatuma shule so what normally happens is vile walituma shule wakanipea advisor wa program. So what the advisor did, alikompare units zenye mimi nimefanya zote kabianga 
na akakompea na curriculum yenye iko UND ya medical laboratory wakaona mm. ni ngapi wanatoa okay. so hata alishindwa so unajua Kenya tunafanyanga makosa mingi sana <laughs> mm. naelewa naelewa <laughs> eh hata alishindwa ali, ilibidi hata anipe zingine zenye ilikuwa redundant kama human anatomy and physiology akaniambia hiyo siweze kukuona so anyway I, i was able to transfer almost um, nili transfer 187 credits 187 credits eh yeah. nili transfer 187 credits so <coughs> mimi niliingia UND kaa nimeingia program ah hakuwa na anything siko na prerequisite hata niliingia UND kaa nimeingia program ju undergrad undergrad ni ni, ni, ni credits ngapi as a whole 120 na umeingia na 187. Eh yeah, so I had extra. But the good thing is extra zilikuwa zile zenye ni unrelated na medical lab. So yeah. idea ni zenye walinipea tu ilikuwa ya 1 year. Hiyo 4 plus 1. Ah. So ilikuwa hiyo 1 year yao tu. So wewe utasoma 1 year ama Yeah. 1 year tu. Okay. So usha 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 meet your qualification ya 4 year uchape 1 year upate degree nyingine. Yes. So what I did nilikuwa naingia fall. So hiyo fall wakani selectia tu courses zenye ni kama introductory to the program. Niliingia September. Ambia watu fall nini? Unajua Niliingia September 2021. Okay. Mhm. Hiyo September wakani selectia tu some pre courses za hiyo za hiyo program. Mhm. January mimi nilikuwa nimeingia program. So nikachapa January. So hiyo program ya America Lab huko ni program ya three semesters. Sasa hii ni kujiamini mtu yangu sasa hapa siwezi hapa mm-hmm. ni masomo okay. semester start so nilichapa hiyo ya january semester nikaenda sama sama nilikuwa na 16 credits wasee hey. wako wanakula sama mimi nagonga 16 Where credits 16 hey, hey. sama uh-huh. mm. sama okay. nilikuwa na 16 credits nikamaliza program fall ah. alafu january this year nikaenda clinicals Ah. Eh, hey, January this year nikaenda clinicals hadi May. Nika graduate May. Uka ukapata degree yako. Hii degree yako ya pili ni. So, Kabianga ulikuwa na degree gani? Ulikuwa na Biochem. Biochem. Hapo mm. umepata Medical Lab, Medical Laboratory Science. <coughs> yeah. So uko na degree yeah. mbili. Yeah, niko na degree mbili. So, hivyo ndio nilifanya. Wa? So, ebu Abu tu turudi tu hivi tu rewind hivi. Eh. Yeah. Ume, 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 ume pale kwa website ya University UND. Mhm. Umepatana na program yako. Yes. Ah, uh, tu tupitishe tu hiyo process ya kunini, hiyo process ya application na okay. alafu pia alafu pia utuambie nini juu. Unajua kuna mtu pale yako, pa, mtu wako pale Kenya. Unajua ile jua ya Kenya ni mbaya. So yeah so <clears throat> Sijui kama kuna vile unaweza share screen hapo yeah, YouTube yeah, yeah. yeah again I can So, so if you can share screen we ingia und.edu ndio ni ndio iko rahisi Ah sawa Hiyo ndio maana by the way napendea napendea YouTube ni kwa sababu Yes unaweza ingia never share screen aya uh, alafu tuweke hapo aya uh, yes ingia yuendi.edu ingia hapo kwa programs so unaingia uh, wata nifanye ikue kubwa kidogo yes hapo hapo ingia hapo uh, majors and programs hapa majors and programs aha uh-huh. yes <coughs> Aya. End up on search. Search up on medical lab. Andika tu medical laboratory. <coughs> Ndio hiyo, hapo chini. Scroll tu. Wachana wachana na hiyo masters. Ingia hiyo ya hiyo ya pili ya undergraduate. Hii undergraduate. Okay. Yes. <coughs> so that's what I did. I love scroll. Ingia teremka tu chini. Ah, apa apply ama uli? 
Ah, uh, wachana, eh, nilienda hapo apply, but nataka kuwaonyesha kwanza vile program inakaa. So what you go, you go to requirements. Ingea hapo kwa pro- requirements. Requirements, okay. Eh, hapo, sunona. Ah, uh, mm-hmm. so, <clears throat> rudi chini. Pro enda juu kidogo. Eh, so those are the prerequisites zenye okay. ziko kwa hiyo program. Uh-huh. So, wachana hata na hiyo, sitaki hata uangali hiyo. Ru, enda, enda juu. Juu, juu kabisa. Juu, eh, at the start, wachana na hizo. Oh, turudi yuki, okay. Eh, juu, juu hapo. Eh, ingia hapo kwa, click kwa the program itself hapo juu. Hapo penye meandika BS. Hapa uh, hizi. Eh. Oh, eh, hapo. Hakuna penye inasema program website. Eh, teramuka tu chini. Teramuka chini, yes, enda kwa requirements. Requirements, yes. Okay. And then, uh, okay, teramuka chini tu. Oh my God, okay. Yeah, I think uh, there is something. Yes, uh, teramuka tu, teramuka chini. There is uh, the program website. Kuna. Hold on, hold on, ikuonyesha hapa, kidogo. Aye. Aye. So, cause nataka kuwaonyesha hiyo roots ya kuingia program. Oh, hiyo ya 4 plus 1. Yes, that's what I want to show you. So, mm. <clears throat> ngacha nifungua kwa computer yangu. Because I know. Uh, Unaweza hapo uangalie hata hapo kwa tuition and aid ndio uone hiyo UN ndivyo ile iko. Ndio ujua hata tuition fees ni ngapi hapo? Ngapi? Haya. So hapa MLS degree eh hapo sasa. Eh you can teremka tu chini. Oh wanakwambia hapo on average. Oh unapata hii Izi ni za, za kila mtu hizi financial aid. I will talk about funding kwa baadaye number. Okay. Oh, MLS. funding. Eh hapo unaona hapo unawezaeka tu uone. Si unaona oh, cost per credit ni ngapi? Si unaona ni very cheap for a university. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Nikido. sasa nimejua. Nimejua hapa okay. nimejua rudi, rudi nyuma. Sasa rudi nyuma. Niende back. Eh back kabisa hapo penye ilikuwa inasema undergraduate. Yes. Sa, rudi kabisa nyuma. Usiende require eh, teremka na hapo sasa. Okay. Bado teremka na hapo. Bado teremka tu. Yes, those are the roots. Unaona yeah. sasa hapo. Hapo sasa soma hapo tu sasa juu. Yeah. Hapo hii ya credit eh, ama. Nene juu. Enda tu chuki dogo tu. Eh there. Oh, Sasa si unaona hapo eh soma kuanzia juu UND offers what? Soma tu hapo. Uh, uh, UND offers a bachelor of, si- of science in medical lab laboratory science and a certificate in medical lab si- uh, lab science program. The following different program routes are available to choose from to fit your needs. In each program, mm-hmm. you'll gain hands-on experience at one of our affiliated medical laboratory sites across the country. Come here, visit the MLS website to explore your options. Yes, you can. So, none of the options. Sasa ya kwanza ni traditional route. Traditional so, route ni ya four years kawaida. Umeenda kusoma undergrad. Uh-huh. Umeanza fresh. Aha. Uh-huh. Aya. MLT to MLS ni wase wenye wamefanya associate degree in M- MLT. Uh, so hawa ni wale watu wa, wa, wa community college. I wa community college. So wewe ni msewa community college na unataka kufanya degree, unaenda na hiyo route. Unaenda na hiyo ML, ML, MLT to MLS. Yes. Ah. Alafu alaf kuna... sasa kuna hiyo yangu sasa. So unaona hapo second bachelor's degree 4 plus 1. 4 plus 1. Eh. eh. Hii ni mel, hii ni melan leo siku anajua. <laughs> Sasa unaweza soma hapo so unaona for yeah. those who already have a bachelor's degree in another field 
gain MLS yeah. certification eligibility within about one year of your coursework. Coursework. Ah. Yes. Where? Ah, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Ah. Eh. Yeah. So hizo zingine hizo zingine ni za watu wenye ni you uh, when you are US citizens hizo okay. Mayo Clinic hizo ni za wase wenye wako huko. So <coughs> Hmm? Okay. Yeah. So those are the three zenye inaguzia wase wa international. Hiyo MLT to MLS. So if kama wewe unajua uko na hata diploma Kenya. Uh -huh. Kwa medical lab unaweza kuja directly ukuje miaka mbili ufanye degree kwa MLS. Ah, hii bado utatumia WES kunini ukiwa ukiwa na diploma. Ukiwa na diploma? Yes, eh. utatumia WES. Hapana hata you don't need WES I think. Eh. Kuna body, kuna body ingine ya accreditation ya MLT inaitwa ASCP. Utatumia oh. ASCP. Eh. Kuna body ya accreditation ya licensing ya hapa ni kama NCLEX. So umeelewa? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Watakunini alafu so utakuja hey, alafu unaingia tu ufanye hiyo miaka mbili umalize eh hey, upate degree ah nice eh hey. yeah. <coughs> aya aya yes so that's what i did so mimi okay. naambianga watu jua kuperus about the website za mashule so mtu anakuambia wana apply aje na all the information is there in the website iko hapo so, umuwa naambianga watu, ukiambiwa umepere, umeambiwa shule, perus, angalia kila kitu, ingia kwa website ya shule, ingia kwa ma program, ingia kwa department, utaona vitu mingi sana. Ah. So, other than kuchukua the hile first hand information yenye unambiwa tu na mtu, conventional ah. information, at least try to explore more. Ah. Kuna mtu walikuwa na swali ya mwanchegi, eh. Na mwenye yako na diploma in biomedical engineering anaweza pia. Yes, he can. Because biomedical engineering means umefanya courses zenye prerequisites za hiyo za ah. medical field. Yes, na hata ah. UND has a very good program kwa biomedical engineering. Ambie umse kwanza yeye ako juu sana. Anaweza ingia bachelor's degree kwa biomedical engineering na ana even mbaya sana. Na even mbaya. Eh. Hey. Ah. Na kwanza Maybe biomedical degree. engineering is a very good profession. Hao ni wasee wenye wanafanyanga ni kiwanga ni kiwanga lab na wananga tu yeah. wasee wanakujanga wanachokora hizo ma machine za za OC. Wana fix ma CT scan. Hiyo ni hata wewe unajua wana, vile wanalipwa. Those Maybe guys are ni, great. Huyu ni mtu ananuka pesa. Hii ukisikia An... mtu hapo ameguza <laughs> biomedical engineering bana. We? Yeah. Huyu mtu. Yeah. Yeah. Eh yeah, I know of a guy mwenye ako Roach anafanya ana, ana kazi Roach Diagnostics. Hiyo uh -huh. hiyo kampuni yenye inaunda ma machine za Roach. Uh -huh. Anakula pesa mzuri sana. Ali mm -hmm. alimaliza ali graduate and is getting almost uh, 100k per year. Yeah. yeah. Starting oh, US wanakula, yeah. wanakula, wanakula pesa mzuri. Hiyo anakula pesa yeah. mzuri. Kwanza upate kampuni mzuri, upate kampuni mzuri kubwa. Eh. Yeah. Hizi makampuni na... kubwa Ya yeah, wewe na shida eh? wewe na shida. Eh umetokana, umetokana. And and yeah. uko too smart unajua chenye unafanya. Yeah. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. So mimi naambianga watu Eh usipotea, umepotea. Umpotea kidogo. Edmond anasema ati hapo sawa Kenya. Eh. Kenya ime... Oh, nini kwani nini nimepotea? Ume... <laughs> Sijui umepotea. <laughs> Sijui sijawahi ona iki happen. This is hey. the first time. Hata <laughs> mimi last time sima ilipotea US ni miaka 7, 7 years mimi, ago. India kwanza ikinifanyikia kwa hii nchi. Haya, <laughs> <laughs> na wale watu by the way walikuwa wale watu wako macho wanaona. Hii ni ni, ni ukweli mara yangu ya mwisho by the way sima kupotea kwangu ilikuwa 7 years ago. Eh. Yeah. Sijawahi ona sima pia. Sindio mimi nimekuambia hata mimi since nifike ndio ya kwanza sasa hii sima inapotea. Kulikuwa na storm leo ndio maana. Kulikuwa oh. na storm kubwa sana. Eh. Yeah. Mm. Ah. <laughs> yeah. So mm? 
so uka ulikuja uli uka nini uka apply your program so ukitaka apply your program wo uh, ngoja hata ni hata ni ngoja nione kama utakuja online utarudi online eh watu wangu mkoaje by the way mna mna, mna nionea wapi tukingoja tukingoja kiproper kuje leo mme witness kitu haifanyikagi America by the way stima huko azipote yangi huko stima stima na na oxygen zinakuaga zi, ni kama ziko hivi ni very hard very rare unapata unapata ati stima imepotea wacha tu nini wacha tungoje tuone kama tu, tuone kama ata nini kama zitarudi tungoje tuone kama zitarudi otherwise eh mulikuwa na maswali by the way tukingoja nani tukingoja kiprop arudi ah hii ilikuwa hii ni nini mzuri by the way sana napenda napenda kiprop kwa sababu ya information analeta information analeta na na hako na information mzuri sana nilikuwa nataka tuendelee by the way ju uh, wacha wacha ajaribu nini nione kama atarudi watu wangu ulizeni maswali ulizeni maswali So Kiprop alienda alienda nini? Alienda UND. UND ni University of uh, North Dakota. Mimi nilienda uh, zinakuanga rival schools. Nilienda rival school yake. Ni North Dakota State University. Na zote zi, North Dakota ni state kubwa sana ya agriculture. State kubwa sana ya agriculture. Musi musi nini? Wacha najaribu kumuona kama kama nini? Stima imerudi ni mwambie <laughs> we na tumeamsha watu sa eh watu watu saa hii ni saa hii sa Kenya ni ni, asu, ni ni nini sana watu bado wamengorota najua watu wangu wengi wamengorota ilikuwa tu kitu impromptu ah uh, acha ni acha ni cheki tutaona hopefully hopefully ita nini stima ikipotea anga hapa by the way ikaangi sana before irudi So wacha ni mshow aniambie uh, niambie zikirudi uh, niambie zikirudi very interesting very interesting very interesting <laughs> ah ah sijui ni waonyesha nini wacha wacha ni waonyesha nini Uh, tukingojanga hapo eh, pigeni likes pigeni likes watu wangu msilale najua sahi, najua nimewaamsha nimewaamsha nini eh eh daga ako na information mzuri sana ni jamaa napenda sana na the reason by the way nilikuwa nataka tuongee na yeye ni kwa sababu ya kuna jamaa o oh, saint ya 10 sa Kenya kuna jamaa nini kuna jamaa li Uh, alikuja juzi akaenda akaenda mizuri na mbele na nyuma alikuwa na 1000 US dollars 1000 US dollars na alikuwa amekuja kuanza shule sasa hiyo ndio kitu umekuja kuanza shule hakuwa anajua anybody hakuwa anajua anybody so ili, eh, kwa sababu ajui mtu na hakuwa amesik information before ingia America ile 1000 yote akachukua analipia nini mkahawa akalipia hotel mahali pa kukaa na kukula mbele nyuma hiyo ndiyo pesa alikuwa nayo <laughs> shule ikaanza shule ikaanza shule inahitaji kama 8000 US dollars anajaribu kuitisha payment plan wanamwambia wanamwambia lazima ulipe 2700 2700 hana hiyo pesa jamaa alikuwa amekuja tu na hiyo 1000 mbele nyuma na hiyo 1000 ndio amelipa hoteli sasa ako hapo ina dilemma anashangaa sasa nitafanya nini niko America sijui anybody ameenda kutafuta shule huko mashamba kiprop eh hey, kiprop merudi naambia by the way ah watu nilikuwa nawaambia nini nilikuwa yeah. nilikuwa ka story wacha ako ka story nita, nita, nitapiga baadaye ka kinini nitapiga baadaye nikuulize pia najua uta, uta, uta utachangia kuniambia nini mhm 
kunimia. Nilikuwa naambia watu by the way team America ikipotea ikai sana before you rudi. Eh. 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 Watu wame watu wame si nakwambia mimi mara yangu ya mwisho steam kupotea. Seven years ago. Si hata mimi ndo nime experience blackout for the first time nimeshanga. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Inafanyi eh. <laughs> Aya, I think tulikuwa tulikuwa kwa shule. Tulikuwa okay. kwa, ulikuwa naongelelea UND ukatuambia hiyo 4 plus 1. So yeah, so those are that's how I got into the program. Niliingia hivyo. <clears throat> vile nilishapata admission mimi nilikuwa nishajua nitapata visa na hapo ndio mimi nataka kuongelea vizuri sana before uchape kwa visa so ukiapply ukiapply shule uli nini uh, si unge, ongelelea kidogo hapo kwa hapo kwa tuition ya international student hiyo hiyo mahali ya tuition cost alafu pia e4+1 kuna nini directly unaenda ku apply kwa 4.1 ama 4+1 ama so what ama, you do is eh Mm-hmm. kuna faculty of admissions ya shule okay so admissions ya shule they don't care our juu story na transfer of credit nini wanajua tu ni undergraduate una apply so what you do you apply as a transfer okay Ku, unaona kwa you and hapo kuna ku apply you can apply as an international but international transfer umeelewa oh. Wata so, wata ni wata ni share utuambie utuambie hapo. Unajua sengine watu watu wana nini? So, ati ukiapply hapa kwa unaona mm. kwa unaenda hapo apply. Ukiingia apply itakuitisha account of course. Eh? Ehe. Itakuitisha so, account. Unaenda hapa kwa apply. Eh, sasa hapo kuna okay. apply admissions. Aya, teremuka hapo tu uone. Sasa kuna freshman, sumuona hapo. And then kuna transfer oh. students. So huyu ni mtu anaanza zero. Yes. Eh huyu ni mtu anaanza si zero. Okay. Huyu yes. hapa sasa wewe utakuja ku nini transfer? Eh sasa mimi niliklick hapo unaingia hapo transfer. Ah, alafu yeah. hapa itakupeleka ita mahali uta nini? Yeah. Ah, alafu anakuambia Oh. Ah, oh, una la, ni nini tu ni, ni 2.0. Eh, lakini sasa hiyo ni general admission but sasa kuna program specific ah okay yeah kuna general admission na kuna program specific admission so hiyo ni general admission ya kwa you meet the criteria alafu una create account una okay. submit eh alafu unaanza unaanza so application fee ni 35 dollars <laughs> yes at, at 35 dollars hivyo tu ah hii hi ni kidogo yes na unajua ile kitu mzuri by the way ndio North Dakota watu ni huko ni mashamba lakini life ni very cheap. Bado nitaongelea ni vile maisha UND iko. That's why nitaongelea vile why I choose North Dakota and I'm not regretting. Uh-huh. Nitaongelea hapo tutaongelea nilichoose hiyo shule. Alafu kuna ma scholarships unaona? Kuna ma scholarship yeah. wanapeana every semester. So unaona hapo? Uh-huh. Eh. Yeah. Priority wanapeana hizi ma priority scholarship. <coughs> ah, okay. Mm. So we uh, unakuja hapa una una nini? Una yeah. Nini? Okay. Sawa sawa. Endelea, endelea basi. Endelea. So mm-hmm. mimi after me apply ume submit hapo. You eh, kwa hiyo page ya application mm-hmm. utakuwa na kutakuwa na, na some uh, requirements zenye itakuwa inaandika hapo <coughs> Uja, unafaa ku submit transcripts, unafaa ku submit uh, proof of financial support unafaa ku submit um, your resume na kuna one final thing transcripts resume na nini nyingine ilikuwa hapo passport 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 the kenyan passport i think those are the few things zenye zilikuwa so once you submit na wame approve inakuwa green wanaeka tick hiyo checklist mm-hmm. so mimi within two weeks checklist yangu yote ilikuwa ishakuwa green yeah sasa hapa kwa bank statement wewe ndio uli provide yeah nilitafuta bank statement so uli yako ama uli 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 ah uh, nilitafuta actually my area mp ndio alinipea ah ongelea hiyo kwa sababu najua kuna watu watasema mimi sina pesa eh yeah. sasa hapo ndio issue 
so that's mm-hmm. the one of the most challenges in your say one affairs mm-hmm. kupata bank statement sikuzi ni ngumu mm-hmm. ni ngumu sana but uh, that is it mimi nili the good thing na UND is uh, uh, kwa i20 yango ilikuwa 25000 dollars so haikuwa mingi so program yote yeah the whole year yeah so mimi nilipeana tu bank statement ya <coughs> ya 25 ya 3 million 3 million na nikapewa i20 ah yeah so but my i20 haikuwa ina read that inakuja 4 plus 1 no i20 yango tu ilikuwa ina read the normal 4 years So okay. unajua i20 ni US immigration they wanna, so they are the ones who knows to standards are undergraduate phd na masters so ni yeah. standard level so it doesn't matter where unakuja as a transfer money ni hawezi andika hapo ah yeah so ile ile pesa imeandikwa kwa i20 mhm ile pesa imeandikwa kwa i20 hiyo ndio una nini hiyo oh, yes. ndio ndio statement unafaa kukuja nayo kukapa eh unapeana unaonyeshana kwa shule Okay. okay. Yes. Ah yeah. Yeah. So ika ukajaza ikaenda green. Eh yeah, ikakuwa green nikatumiwa yeah. i20. Actually yangu hata i20 yangu alituma na mail. Ilikuja hadi yeah. Eldoret. Nikaenda nikapik. Yeah. So and then sasa eh, maneno na visa sasa. Visa. That's the bigger thing now. Okay. Eh? Eh eh. So kuna nini shida mingi sana. Yeah. Acha nilete maji na kuja. <clears throat> kuja 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 ukinini maji wacha nininie by the way eh we mimi hata ukifanya hivyo hata siwache siji kama eh unajua nilikuja juzi nikaangalia nikapata nikapatana na i20 yangu nikapatana na i20 yangu na ngoja nitajaribu <coughs> kuona kama sijari dark so siji kama nita share uh, i20 yangu ni kikuu oh tunaangalia i20 ni watu wanajua wanasikianga i20 i20 hawajua i20 ni nini ah oh bado sija redact kitu lakini wacha wacha nifanye ikue nini alafu Unafu, nita share na watu. Ni, nilikuwa nasema nini? Nilikuwa nasema nini? Ni, ni, nilikutana na i20 yangu ya i20 yangu ya i20 yangu ya, ya, ya shule. Ya Ulikujanga huku lini kwanza wewe? <clears throat> i20 yangu ya NDS ndio ndio naiangalia. Bado sija redact so sitaki kushare. Lakini Uh, what is what and you and you and you the same system even application is the same system yeah yeah, yeah. yes oh, yangu eh eh what what and you nyesha hapa by the unajua mimi nilikuja na nine degree ah uh, what and kama kuna personal information hapo uh, ah what let me share what and share his screen and the window hebu ah. zoom in eh ini ya 20 inakaaje ini ya 20 ya kitambo <laughs> Ini ya oh. 20 ya kitambo unaona? Eh. Unaona hapo nini? North Dakota State University. North Dakota State University. Eh. Hebu enda hapo admission. <laughs> Gani hapo admission number ama? Eh. eh. So unaona hii ndio yeah. 2002 my friend. Hii <laughs> ndio shule ili approveiwa ili approveiwa 2002. Shule. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yangu mimi ni nini? 2010. 2010. Eh. Mpaka eh. Okay. So, unaona mimi nilipewa 12 months. Yeah, ndio nashangaa ulipewa 12 months. Sasa ndio unajua ni naambianga na watu story wanasema ati ni story. Story zangu ni za ku make up. Yaani kumbe Marekani ilikuwa kama Australia kitambo. 
whereby unaweza enda anytime you feel like bora umeshapata visa unaona hapa mimi nili apply program gani general studies na graduate na degree <laughs> mimi by the way shule shule wakinini walikuwa wamekuja wakaniambia walikuja wakaniambia awadhani nitapata visa kwa sababu <laughs> no <laughs> the thing <laughs> is eh? the thing is eh? um, kitambo vitu haikuwa strict no <laughs> na kitambo they didn't care ndio naambianga watu hapa eh the mm. more kenya tuna mess up our issues the more tuna jiaribia kitambo hapa marekani hata hiyo story na 20 hours a week haikukua ukisikia na watu wenye walikuwa huko 2005 na kurudi nyuma watakwambia walikuwa wanachapa job freestyle but with the time kwa sababu tunaendelea tukijaribia tutajaribia vitu mingi sana mm? yeah. 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 kama hapa, hapa, hapa mimi yangu ilikuwa inasema tuition 12000 living expenses I joy but like imagine it's just yeah. the same Yeah. Yeah. Ai joy so, badilika. Imebadilika so, tu kidogo. Hmm? Yangu ilikuwa i20 yangu walinipea. Mm. Wow. Sasa unajua niingia pale embassy. One of the swali waliniuliza ni kwa nini unafanya mbona unafanya non degree? Mm. <laughs> Unatu sasa non degree. Wewe yani hata ni very ujielewi. Ujielewi. <laughs> <laughs> Eh? eh sasa hiyo ni kwa sababu hiyo itakuwa shida una waliniuliza kwa nini by the way non degree alafu umeweka general studies yeah general studies, unakuja kusoma nini ah saa hii uende na hiyo hata aweze kuangalia mara mbili <laughs> mara mbili aweze kukuangalia mara mbili <laughs> <laughs> mm? no lakini shule by the way walisema kwa sababu wewe ujanini itakuwa shida sana wewe kupata visa. Hata hiyo siku ni vile hata hiyo siku kuna watu wengi, ma students wengi tuliana nao walinyimwa. Mm. Hiyo nini? Kwa sababu unajua hii unafaa hata degree una, unaenda kufanya hivi. Sasa wewe unaenda ku, mimi sijui ile kitu naenda kufanya. Naenda Ah wewe ulipata bahati. Ndio <laughs> embassy yako, huyo mtu alitoka maybe alikuwa anafurahi asubuhi. <laughs> eh? Sinaambianga watu pia wasidhani hours to us wase wenye wako embassy ni binadamu. binadamu. Maybe anaweza amuka hiyo asubuhi ako na mood mzuri. Ako tu anapea kila mtu. Na maybe hiyo siku ukuo wewe ni perfect wewe sio perfect akupei. Eh? Well, They are well. all human beings. Well. <laughs> so yeah, so wewe oh man ni utu ume ume umetumiwa i20 umetumwa mpaka kwenyu. Mm umenini ulianza kulipa service sama nili, eh, nili, nililipa ni, vile nilipata i20 sasa mm-hmm. eh, nikalipa service no si kulipa service kwanza nilianza okay. kuangalia kwanza matare kama zinapatikana pale kwa appointment eh, eh sasa hapo ndo kulikuwa na issue Aku, unaona hiyo time ya 2021 after covid mm-hmm. vitu Akuna zilianza hiyo. kuwa screwed up kabisa hiyo yeah. mm-hmm. time So mimi nikaangalia appointment na angalia the next available appointment was like tw- n- the next year March So what I did nikasema kwanza wa- let me deal with DS160 nikasema wacha niachane kwanza na appointment wacha ni deal na hii DS160 hadi ikwe perfect kabisa So hapo hapo naambianga watu and uh, I want to really uh, <clears throat> on this thing. Aha. Uh-huh. Kitu inakupea visa ni DS160. Wewe kuenda pale kwa dirisha hiyo ni formality. Mhm. Hiyo ni formality too. He wants to confirm the information that you are giving iko ni wewe ndio ulifanya. Mark akona marking scheme pale. Yes. Uh-huh. Naambianga watu sana. Hiyo DS160 ndio it will determine. So mimi nikisikianga msee akipea agent amfilie DS160 na na umuhurumia tu. Hmm? Because you don't know anything. Ujui okay. chenye agent ameandikwa hapo. Yeah. Wewe unaenda pale unaongea vitu zako inaenda miss unatoka ukilia una blame watu. Una blame watu nini? 
na ni shauri yako you don't care about the process goes na naambia nga mtu if you really want to get an american visa do it for yourself uelewe the process uingie hata uchokore uangalie department ya department of state they have stated all those requirements ya kupata us visa rudia tena hiyo kwa sababu mimi nimejaribu kuambia watu hiyo kweli hawasikizi eh ds160 ndio ile 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 ndio kitu utaenda kufanywa hakuna kitu atauliza that is outside outside the scope of what you have given the immigration officer i normally say that hmm alafu mtu amepatia agent amjazie yes adu ile kitu agent alijaza yes kwa sababu kwa ds160 kuna your educational background mm-hmm. employment background mm-hmm. na pia other than employment background kuna mahali hapo inakuuliza are you employed unasema no if you say no itakwambia explain that mm-hmm. is the opportunity for you to give yourself explanation why you are going for this program eh? why what motivated you to go to this program jielese yeah. so that is the point whereby Uki, ukiona umeandika hiyo hapo explanation vizuri atatumia hiyo points kukuuliza maswali and it will be very easy for you to communicate with the immigration officer yeah. i can say this missi kulizo bank statement ikienda yamba haikufikia hapo pia so, mimi siku pia, pia mimi na nilikuja f1 siku itisho yes sio lazima by the time unaona immigration officer anakuuliza bank statement wewe umeisha yeah. because well, yeah. they know sia sia ti wajui ya kwa una pesa they know una pesa na wanajua mm-hmm. unakuja huko kusoma yeah. so they just want to know if you are a serious student by the time anafika kukuliza hizo masijui family ties nini ujue wewe umeisha you hauna content interview naenda hivi yes ni ukweli by the way you are saying una unaongea ukweli kabisa by the way utajua by the way ukifika ukiona mali una, unaitishwa document ku prove kitu yes kuna eh? kitu yani huyu mtu hakuamini the first thing yenye mimi naambianga watu unaona hiyo swali ya kwanza the immigration officer anakuuliza try to make the immigration officer ask you question based on your statements sio chenye yeye anafikiria kwa akili yake kwa za kikuuliza maswali chenye yeye anafikiria kwa akili yake wewe umeisha wacha akuulize maswali based on the answers iko ya conversation isikuwa an interview But the moment in badilika inakuwa interview where by anakuuliza tu swali yenye hizo structured questions. Unajua wanakuanga na structured questions. Ni kama yeah. hizo my interview za Marekani za ufala. So unajua hizo? Eh. Tell me tell me over time. Eh. eh. Anakuuliza when I tell us how, how do you cope up with stress? Hizo ni maswali za kawaida. Mm? <laughs> eh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so huwa naambianga watu. So mimi before ni nianza hata story na visa, nilifanya research. Mimi naambia watu, mi nilifanya research bwana. Niliingia kompyuta yangu nikafanya research nikaangalia, nikaingia YouTube. There's a very good Nigerian lady hapo anaongeleanga maneno na visa. Huyo ndiye hata alinipea sana mkutisha. Aha. Uh-huh. Akaniambia uh, anaongeanga sana hapo kwa YouTube. Ana there are many YouTube videos. Kuna wahindi wameunda ma videos hapo za F1 jinsi ya kupita. Sielewi mbona mtu ukose content. Mm? Mm-hmm. Yes. Ingia YouTube, ingia there is a lot of resources for you okay. kupata. Yep. Mm? Yep. Yeah, so nikiona mtu ananiambia nime panic sijui nitasema nini, you are unprepared my friend. Yep. Kubali. Na ukinyimwa usilie, you are unprepared. Mm. It is true. Mm-hmm. So the first thing that you need to know le- let's let's go back ni sema tu mimi the first thing that you need to know ni maso ni, ni kitu ya kwanza you need to know in visa ina gani So lazima ujue this is a non immigrant visa DS160 ukijaza hapo juu inaandika non immigrant So you must prove to the immigration officer that your intentions are purely academic no immigration you ni ya kwanza mm-hmm. ya pili you need to prove that you are going to school ukweli unaenda shule and you know what you are doing eh yeah? number three, chenye mimi najua 
you need to show that your degree is beneficial to the interest of your country not to the united states so you you don't know what you're talking about alafu ya mwisho but that is the least you need to show that you can be able to fund your academics so hizo ni vitu nne so if you will be able kuonyesha immigration officer hizo vitu nne within the first three minutes unapata visa unapata so those are the things yep 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 eh so interview yako so my interview before hata tuongelee story na interview so mimi nilikuwa najua ya kuwa niko na undergraduate Inona. So the first thing you mean likuwa ku solve was I have an undergraduate na naenda for a second degree. Akiniuliza hiyo swali how am I going to tackle it? So hiyo ndio kitu ya kwanza nilikuwa najua lazima ni ni, ni entwine vizuri. Mm-hmm. To make the good thing is eh, my background na chenye naendea are more related. Si ku deviate ni kwa in science field. Mm-hmm. That's the first thing. Hiyo ndio kitu ilinisaidia. Number two, I was able no, no I was able before nikuje niende embassy nilikuwa nisha download transfer credit report from UND. Okay. So I was able to download the transfer credit report from UND. Na nikashika hiyo document na nilikuwa nimeongeza na I20 nikienda nayo embassy. So when I was typing my I2 in my DS160 mimi niliweka hiyo information yote. Niliweka information ya kuwa I got a program in UND iko na 4+1 root. I was able to transfer my background in biochemistry to medical laboratory science. This showed that I am progressing in my career. I want to shift from research to medical field. So you have to show uonyesha a connection between the two. Umeelewa? So hiyo kitu ilinisaidia. Alafu number two, mimi nilikuwa nimefanya experience internship ya county ilinisaidia nikiwa hospitali. So mimi I was able to create a case study nikasema ya kuwa when I was in working at Kapsabet County Referral Hospital, I realized that patients used to wait in the queue for a very long time without being served. And this really created a gap that there is a crisis in healthcare in my country. So I wanted to to go there, get that degree and come back because they really need me no no i want to be among the part of the team that will make a difference in the field of healthcare so lazima ukue so eloquent on what you're saying so that huyo mtu aweze kuona ya kuwa you're serious hiyo unasema kwa interview yes mhm na hiyo information yote mimi niliwaambia ilikuwa kwa ds160 ume umejaza kwa ds160 eh so nilikuwa tu na download vitu nilikuwa najua kwa ds160 So mimi niliandika vizuri kwa DS160 niliandika my four years degree na nikaeka experience yangu ya kazi vizuri vinye penye nimekuwa Kemri nimekuwa Kapsabet County Referral Hospital alafu after hapo ndio hiyo mimi naenda shule so mimi sikuwa na gaps to be sincere i didn't have any gaps i graduated 2018 nikiisha nikaingia internship the whole of 2019 hadi 2020 from 2020 ikiisha ndio hii nimeingia naenda shule so sikuwa na gap in my resume so you that's another thing yenye inaweza kukusaidia naambia watu usi, make sure ya kuwa una gap in your so mimi nikisikianga watu wanasema feature hii degree usiseme uko na degree feature nini unajiletea shida maswali za the moment you start lying to the immigration officer that wewe umeisha unakuwa shida eh yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah so mimi nilifika hapo ilikuwa saa mbili na 15 I was very confident nikafika hapo <clears throat> akaniuliza tu why are you going to UND because uh-huh. I I'm very sure that was the first thing nilikuwa najua lazima ataniuliza because uh-huh. hakuna niko sure maybe in the whole week ajaona or even the whole year ajaona mtu wa UND ati wiki na hiyo karibu mwaka mzima hakuna mtu yeah so eh hey, so mimi mimi nilimchapia vizuri sana So mimi the good thing nilikuwa nimeshajua what that, that program is. So mimi nikamwambia University of North Dakota has a very unique program that goes with my goals. They have this unique program that is 4 plus 1 program that I was able to transfer my undergraduate credits to medical laboratory. 
and uh, I can be able to expedite my studies. So I can only say, oh, you have transferred my your credits. What shows you have transferred? Ndio hiyo. Nikamuonyesha immediately. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, this is good. I can only say, so what about this medical laboratory? What is it? Mi nika mchapia vitu zangu wapo, vizuri sana. Vile nilikuwa nimepanga maneno na yo healthcare. Haikuisha. Ikaishanga tu hivu wakiniambia letter passport. Letter passport. Two questions. Yeah. Hakaniambia tu letter passport. Eh? Ulisikia aje. Ili kushua. <laughs> ili kushua vile ulisikia mekuambia. Umepata. Mimi. Eh. Unuona vile alihesite. Tunajua sasa vile. After ni mimalizi yo statement ya pili. Eh. Hakanyamaza na kuangalia computer. So kumbe eh. wa mtu anawana chenye. Unasema na chenye ni meandika. Ndi naambia eh. watu UDS 160 ni ya mani. So hapo roo inapiga kwa na ujui chenye hata kuambia next. Uh-huh. Yeah so alafu akaniambia tu okay akaniambia letter pass hiyo time story na hizi pink slip haiku kwa so okay. ulikuwa unaambiwa saa hiyo visa approved ana shout eh uh-huh. eh saa hiyo ana ana, ana ana shout visa approved na akanipea hivyo tu uh-huh. that is it so my journey was that simple ulikuwa uliku kama mimi nilikuwa Ukiniangalia uso niko very confident lakini mwili inaisha <laughs> Si kwa bado nataka kuangalia hiyo Westlands hapo hapo hiyo yote hiyo route ya 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 embassy hiyo yote nilishika uh-huh. nilishika nini Uber kuanzia hapo uh-huh. adi afya center nishika no drift niende nyumbani uh-huh. mm. <laughs> Sikuwa bado nataka kabisa. <clears throat> ah, we, eh, endelea, endelea, niko hapa, niko hapa. Yeah, so, yeah. after two days, mi nimepata visa, <clears throat> na nikajipanga sasa. Sasa, the best, the next thing, yinye ilikuwa stress, sasa ilikuwa. Sasa, si unajua, mi acha mi nikuambie kitu. Yeah. Before, hata mi nikuje huku, nilikuwa nimesha register credits. Nime register classes, nimejua hata nadaiwa ngapi. Mimi nilikuwa nishaingia campus connection nimeangalia na niko na timetable ya classes. Nishajua hadi venue ya classes. Na sijakanyaga Marekani. Ehe. Uh-huh. Mm. Nilikuwa nishaingia campus connection nimeangalia na daiwa ngapi na nimeangalia health insurance, nimebook nimebook hostel huko ndani ya shule. Uh-huh. Nilichapiwa kamach na jamaa fulani because hiyo <clears throat> Hapo UND, UND wako na mapadmen noma noma sana ni poa. But sasa kwa sababu ni matu bedroom, uliku unaulizo match. So mi ni kachuzu tu mtu yote mwenye ni mkristo. So because ni kamachiwa tu na mzungu fulani hapo. So <clears throat> before ni toke ni kasema, yumi ni shule kweli ya kuna mtu. Mi ni, ka, ni kasema kwa sababu ni mekosa kujua watu. Kwa ni maulizia ulizia watu huku marekani ya kuna mtu wanajua. Ni kasema wacha ni inge LinkedIn. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Nikaingia LinkedIn na nika type Kenyans in North Dakota. North Dakota. <laughs> Ulienda kuwatafuta LinkedIn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nikaingia LinkedIn bwana. Uh-huh. Nikapata na jamaa fulani anaitwa Mwaura. Anafanya uh-huh. PhD. Uh-huh. Eh, hey, sasa nika nika connect na Mwaura nikamutex. Mwaura Mwaura ako ako Grand Fox. Yeah, ako Grand Fox. Okay. <laughs> Nikapatana na yeye akaniambia sasa bwana mimi niko Kenya saa hii nilikuwa nimekuja holiday but kuna kuna jamaa tu huko mwenye ni mkisi nitakuconnect na ye uh-huh. anafanya engineering huko anaitwa uh-huh. Andrew. Uh-huh. Mi nika connect akanipea number nika nika connect na Andrew. That was the only guy mwenye alikuwa na Grand Fox. Uh-huh. Nika connect na Andrew Andrew akaniambia sawa wewe fanya hivi we kuja tu sikuambii kitu. <laughs> Nikasema ah bora kuna mtu. Ukiona mm-hmm. kuna mtu it, it, that's okay. Yeah so <clears throat> Andrew akaniambia we tu fanya hivi. Bora tu kuna pesa ya health insurance. Know the Dakota are very strict about health insurance for international mm-hmm. students. Mm-hmm. You know that. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh insurance akunanga they they cannot allow you to enroll classes 
They don't mm. care about that tuition fees. Wanataka hiyo health insurance ikuwe sawa. Cuz wanajua huko the weather is very harsh and anything can happen. Unaweza unaweza yeah. Eh yeah. so <clears throat> na health insurance ni so nane pa hiyo. Mm. So mimi nilikuwa na mimi nilikuwa na kitu karibu ngiri mbili hivi. <laughs> eh nilifanya nilifanywa ka fundraising mtaani nikachapa karibu ilikuwa kitu karibu 270k. Uh-huh. Nikaenda hapo airport nikabadilisha nikapewa 2300. <laughs> usinikumbushe usinikumbushe mambo ya fundraising actually. Uh, Mimi... Of course I knew yeah. there is nothing. Hata kwetu hakukuwa na kitu but nilikuwa najua mimi nilikuwa najua naenda shule. Hiyo ni mingi, hiyo ni mingi. Unajua umesema 2000. Eh. Hey. Mimi, mimi najua mimi hata guy, acha tusiongeendelea tu. <laughs> yeah, so mimi nikakuja na hiyo ngiri mbili. <clears throat> nikafika Minneapolis, nikafika Grand Fox. But what I knew is I was I was sure lazima ni attend international um, orientation. It was very important. Na mm. na hiyo ni kitu naambia watu. Musi, hata kama uko na host na unaenda shule please mm-hmm. usikose hiyo international school mm-hmm. students mm-hmm. orientation kuna vitu zenye unaenda ambiwa hapo that it will really help you yeah, yeah. kuna vitu nyenye huyo host wako hata haezi kuwa anajua board maneno na shule but those international uh, st- um, office ya shule ndio watakusaidia kukuambia vitu mingi so mimi nilikuwa najua lazima nifike hiyo orientation nikafika huko nika nikafika nikapatana na huyu rafiki yangu Andrew nikamwachia bag shu nikaenda orientation orientation tukafunzwa jinsi ya ku maintain status okay. tukafunzwa jinsi ya uh, how to maneuver once you graduate hapo hata UND wanakupea the information ya after graduation they gave us a lot of information na wakatuambia if you have any problems kuna office ya international office okay. kuna office ya hii everything so nikalipa hiyo sonana ya insurance nikabakiwa na e, kitu karibu 1400 hapo uh-huh. so nikaambia andrew <coughs> mimi sasa ujue kwa hiyo hostel UND walikuwa wameni classify kama freshman sasa na unajua freshman marekani wanakuwa na tabia ya kukufanya aje kukulipisha ati dining Ati sasa mimi niende tu ni walikuwa wanadhani mimi ni kataikun ka, ka from somewhere mwenye watani bill 7000 dollars per semester. Hmm? Nani nakula 1700 per semester? Kukula kwa cafeteria. Kwa cafeteria. <laughs> <laughs> so mimi nikaambia <clears throat> nadhani niende kwa housing. Niwaambie I'm not interested in your food. Mimi uh-huh. siko interested na mimi eh sai I'm not interested in the apartment anymore for now. Mm-hmm. Cuz Andrew alikuwa na wanaishi na Mwaura. They were two. But sasa kwa sababu Mwaura hajafika nikasema kwanza acha nidandie kwanza. Ingia hapo hata nikae hapo ni nini? Eh, yeah. nikifiga out. Mm-hmm. So, the good thing is nikaenda huko shule wakanielewa, wakanichomolea kwanza hiyo 8500 yenye ilikuwa kwa bill. Yote ikatoka. Yeah. Eh uh-huh. so ikabaki strictly chenye naona ni school fees. Aha. Uh-huh. Eh sasa ilikuwa relief kubwa sana wewe ujui wewe. Ilikuwa uh-huh. a very big relief. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah it was a very big I remember it was a very big re- relief to me. So nikajua hii ni school fees yenye imebaki. School fees na health insurance na hizo. So <clears throat> thank god kulikuwa na student mwenye alikuwa ana transfer alikuwa anakuja eh, yeye alikuwa athlete so alikuwa na transfer anakuja UND as an athlete mm-hmm. tuka match up na yeye akakuwa roommate wangu okay alikuwa mka, mkale tu kama mimi akakuja tuka match up tukaingia kwa apartment uzuri apartment za shule hizo za shule ni 750 so mkigawa wawili ni 370 370 ikakuwa uh-huh. very affordable na ah sikujali na store na school fees hata The good thing na UND they don't care about school fees. Wanakuambia tu bora semester isiishe kama hujamali, hujamaliza. Mm. Eh. Yeah. So ukiwa na so mbili, so unatupa tu. Unatupa tu. Eh. Yeah. So <coughs> mimi siku bodha nikasema ah wacha niende shule. So on Monday mimi nimejua classes zangu. Na nikaanza shule normal. Hivyo that was my life. Nikaingia class normal mimi nilikuwa mtu mweusi the only mtu mweusi kwa darasa but i didn't care najua najua eh, 
Hakuna watu wengine wa Dakota. Yeah. I didn't care but uh, ilinisaidia hiyo hiyo resilience ilinisaidia sana. That resilience ilinisaidia. Mm. Nika but vile nikatoka hivi nikakuja nikaingia hiyo dining yenye nilikuwa nika, nakata shh nikaenda hadi hapo kwa dining manager nikaambia dining manager nataka kazi. Aha. Eh. Aka nataka tapu. kazi. Akanipea akanipea kazi hapo akaniambia apply social security number nikaenda hapo kwa HR wakaniaplyia social. Nikaanza job ya dining. So naenda mm-hmm. job usiku Ulienda hmm? ulienda pale international office ama ulienda ulienda wapi ndio? Ah UND HR hata anakusaidia. HR anapiga simu saa hiyo kwa social office. Wana oh. unapata social tu. Eh. So eh yeah, yetu UND hata wanakusaidia wanakupea wanakuundia hadi unapata social. Mimi social yangu nilipata kwa mail. Ah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So mimi ndio ni nikaanza tu job. Uh-huh. Nikaanza tu job hapo ya 20 nilikuwa najua ni 20 hours a week. So nikaanza hmm. Na hapo sasa si na hapo unafanya kazi hapo chakula kama na food iko free for free. free. Eh. Unaona? Uh-huh. N- lakini siku wanataka kulipia unaelewa at first si, si lipi, but I'm working for them. Naelewa. So mimi nilikuwa nachoma hapo mabaga na choma mabaga na uzuri yeah. UND ataacha nikwambie pay rate yao iko mbao ulikuwa unaanza na 13. Hey. Yeah. 13 bana. 13 yeah. nini? Hiyo wanalipa graduate nini ya? Assistant. <laughs> <laughs> eh hey, wanalipa dining 13. So ilikuwa poa. Nilikuwa nachapa hiyo 20 hours a week. Hiyo nilikuwa na calculate naona first paycheck nalipa rent, second paycheck school fees. Hivyo hey, kama inflation imepanda sana lakini 13 ukilipa 13 North Dakota hiyo sio mbaya. Yeah, it was good. It was yeah. good actually. It was yeah. good. So <clears throat> but after hapo unajua sasa nilikuwa school of medicine. Mm-hmm. Sasa mimi sijachoka kuchokora website nikaingia kwa website ya shule nikaangalia kuna majob shule yetu sasa acha niwaambie the biggest thing yenye mimi naambia watu if kama unajua unaenda place hakuna watu please try your best to go to a bigger university a bigger university because a bigger university means availability of on campus jobs yep yep Kuz, uki, ukisema unataka kuenda mahali penye hakuna watu na unaenda community college community college ni limited hakuna on campus jobs utafanya kazi wapi so if you are going to a community college ujue uende mahali penye kuna watu wa Kenya watakuchanua mhm no, no, uko nje but kama unaenda mahali kama North Dakota at least make sure it's a big university penye kuna makazi za shule Nafani. Kama UND you, you are being begged as a student kufanya kazi. My yeah. job ni mingi sana. Na funding iko hivi. Unaona? So that mm-hmm. is the good thing. So mimi nikaingia hapo nikachokora nikaangalia ah kuna kitu inaitwa undergraduate research assistant. Undergraduate. Uko, hey. uko uh, kwa uh, school rudia, of medicine. Rudia tena kwa sababu watu wengi wanajua. Eh uh, inaitwa undergraduate mm. research assistant wewe ni undergrad lakini unasaidia wasee wenye wanafanya phd kwa research kwa research ile degree yangu ya Kenya ikakuja through tena ikanisaidia mm. so mimi nika apply <coughs> nikaitwa na professor fulani mwenye alikuwa huko kwa eh, department ya virology huko school of medicine mm. akaniambia oh you are an undergraduate i can see uko na degree so <coughs> we can try to give you this offer hiyo offer ilikuwa poa sana walikuwa na negonga 25 ah uh, we 25 pa eh, month eh 25 par hour ah ye ye eh you umeingia eh? 25 eh alafu kuna stipend ya scholarship ya ngiri moja 1500 every semester bora tu ni maintain kukaa na huyo professor nikisaidia huyo mm-hmm. student so nil, nilikaa hapo sasa i was able to pay my school fees actually ili nisaidia Juu ukifanya kazi una save pesa na bado ile tu ile ile hiyo scholarship ya 1500 yeah. iko So ideally UND ilikuwa ilikuwa ngapi ilikuwa tuition ilikuwa 5k ama hapo Alafu ukiongezea hizo mafis unajua kuna hizo mafi wanaweka wenga juju inafika kitu karibu 65 to 7k But I was able to pay I don't know how I did it Siwezi kukuambia but nili maneuver around sikuwa itafuta kazi chini ya maji let me tell you that 
I could not afford that. Siku siku afford hiyo luxury yenye wanafunzi wanakuanga naye. Yes, but nilisoma nilimaliza shule. That's what I can say. Yeah. Kitu mzuri yeah. sana na North Dakota by the way. Eh? Kitu mzuri sana na North Dakota. It is very supportive. Acha niwaambie. In fact UND iko na hadi kitu kingine yenye kama wewe ni international student they give you an opportunity to apply kwa kitu inaitwa eh uh, uh, work permit ya yeah, due to unforeseen circumstances hardship 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 unforeseen circumstances so you can apply for that work permit na unaweza fanya kazi nje ya shule yeah yeah na wao so, na una, 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 una pia unaweza fanya 40 Eh na wanaweza kukufanya unafanya 40. So they 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 can really support you. This is my university, is university kubwa kubwa huwezi kosa funding unless we tu uko bure. Huwezi kosa funding. Yeah, yeah so mm-hmm. mimi ni ni, ni, ni alafu tena hizo vile hizo semesters mbili ikaisha ikafika sama. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sama nilikuwa na chapa 40 kwa hiyo professor na unagongwa 25. Eh nilikuwa na chapa 40. So nika save ikaweza nikalipa spring in fall. Mhm. Hivyo tu na shule ikaisha. Ukaisha. Juu wewe umesoma semester 3. Yeah. Unafanya mwaka yeah. moja. Mm. And that's what I wonder. Siku anataka cuz wewe ni kuambie can you now imagine mtu mwenye anaingia freshman with that kind of life. Yeah. Na pressure yeah. kutoka nyumbani. Utatoboa aje. Wanasema uko Marekani. Hawataki kujua kama wewe ni student. They don't care. <laughs> Mm? <laughs> Wanaona ni kama umekuja na green card una, unafanya kazi. Yeah. Okay. Wewe niambie. Wanakuambia kwanza kwa kina nani jana walijenga ujuzi wameanza kujenga gorofa. Na hao watu wewe, hao watu wanatusikiza hapa watu wa hao watu wanakuja majuu waki. The first year wameanza kujenga magorofa. Wanapatia watu wengine mapresha sana bana. <laughs> Unasikia nga hivyo wazazi ndio wanasema by the way. Aya. Hey. Ni Unaona huyu alikuja juzi na ameanza kuangusha magorofa. Eh, wewe unafanya nini? Eh? Eh. Eh, pressure. Hiyo ni pressure. Hiyo pressure ya nyumbani, ya, si ndio nakwambia. So, mimi naambianga mtu, kwanza pata degree. Once you get your degree, mambo inafunguka. Mambo inafunguka. Mm. Mm. Kitu ya kwanza niyo. Ulikuwa nataka kuguzilia scholarship kidogo before tu ingia. So, ya. yes. So, nilikuwa nataka kusema eh hiyo mm-hmm. point ya big universities wako na scholarships. Alafu tena apart from that sijasahau kukuambia vile nilifika hivi UND wako na kitu inaitwa new transfer scholarships. Oh. Kama ulikuwa na GPA ya 2.0 na kwenda mbele, wanakugonga ngiri. Ukiingia tu. Aya. Kidogo kidogo kuna sasa wakafungua sasa scholarships za fall. Kuna ukiingia hapo hebu acha ni acha ni kuonyesha how you can go. Ziko hapo unaingia um, let me see admissions alafu dogo tu alafu ni kuonyesha on where to go. Uh, scholarships okay ingia hapo uh, you can share the screen ingia kwa admissions ingia to und.edu alafu ingia admissions so rudi kabisa ju to the main page enda hapo kwa admissions ah uh, send admissions e hapo Ah, steremka chini kabisa. Chini, enda hapo calculate your cost. Calculate your. God. Ju, miss. Ju, ju. Ju kabisa, e hapo calculate your cost. Ah, teremka chini. Chini kabisa. Kuna hapo scholarships. Down. Eh, muona scholarships hapo. Aya ndio hizo ma scholarships. Na waivers. Muona sasa kuna ma waiver. Muona UND wanapeana 8.1 million every year. 8.1 million. Yeah. 
na ni mingi sana zinaenda kama zijatumika eh yeah, mingi z... sasa alafu unaenda hapo teremka chini ni kuonyesha iko na scholarship central teremka chini enda hapo explore scholarships hapo eh yeah, unaweza click ufungue uone ndio hizo oh hata hata ninunue yes ndio hizo so you can click hapo na una apply chenye unataka so hiyo ndio ilikuwa inanisaidia sana naangalia hapo na apply tu Una, unaingia hata za department department yangu ilikuwa na, na ya 2500 so you see those all those scholarships yeah yeah this is not a scholarship yes mingi so yes. hapa nikukataa hapa nikukataa kujituma si ndio wewe niambie mm yeah 8.1 million ni pesa mingi sana by the way yeah eh si hapa kai hii scholarship hapa ishakulipia nini mzima mm yeah, kama hiyo eh ah. nijue tu nikujue tu kuandika essays vizuri na unatuma mm. mm. ah very nice Very nice. Very nice. Ah. Hiyo very good. Na nini unajua ni watu wanaulizanga scholarship lakini hawani mimi. Ukienda So mimi naambianga watu please don't think that utapata. Wase the only people when you wanaweza pata scholarship wakiwa before hata wakuje huku. Nikaa huyo rafiki yangu wewe beshta yangu mwenye nakwambia anaitwa Mwaura. Wase wa PhD. No, what na mbio. Those two. Yeah. PhD in America especially STEM ni free. Una, una, I will una, never una, emphasize it. In una, fact unalipwa. Yeah. UND wanalipwa 2200 every month. Yeah. For graduate research assistant GRA. Yeah, but hiyo sasa before upate hiyo lazima ukuo muonyesha kweli wewe ni mwanaume. Wewe ni. Eh. Huyo eh. eh. rafiki yako mkimbiaji juu najua ni wengi na kuna kuna shule by the way unajua kitambo North Dakota hapo Dickinson kulikuwa na ka program hapo kalikuwa kanaleta watu wa volleyball kuna university inaitwa St Mary i think ni hiyo ndio unasema ehe ehe ongelele i think ni hiyo <coughs> maybe kuna hiyo university St Mary sijui kama bado wanachukua but nilikuwa nasikia kweli walikuwa wanaleta students from uh, nje wanakuja kunini NBSU pia bado iko juu kwa athletics yeah athletics eh hey, yeah. NBSU NDSU by the way unajua NDSU ndio nilienda. Huyo yeah. alienda UND University of North Dakota mimi nikaenda North Dakota State University. Hapo yeah. hapo scholarships kubwa kubwa kama unaweza cheza football yeah. kama unaweza kwanza hapo, UND na hockey. Eh na hockey. Hoki kwanza wase wenye wako wako hockey they live a lavish life and they are nice students. Mm. Yeah. Soka. Soka. Pesa ni mingi. Soka and DSU bado walikuwa na scholarship even. Mm. You and ni hoki na hiyo mbio pia. So hata huyo rafiki yangu huyo ali graduate pia eh. Ali graduate tuli graduate na eh. So rafiki yako alipataje hii ni ya, ya ukimbiaji? Ali ali apply akiwa Kenya? No no, yeye yeah, alikuwa ame transfer alikuanga Texas. Ah, alikuanga Texas, I think akapatana na coach. So unajua vile makoch wanaongea ongea, ongea wakampoch yeah. akakuja UND. Ah. Sasa wewe juu unajua una, unaweza ongelelea kidogo juu ya wakimbiaji. Mm. Wakimbiaji wengi upataje scholarship za kukimbia? So mimi I can say siezi danganya. Sina experience sana but what I know is eh, mm-hmm. kuna ma kuna ma training camps zenye hawa say ushinda. Kuna I think kuna zenye ziko A10, kuna zenye ziko Kapsabet, zenye ziko LD. Najua. So what they normally do our ma agents when you wako kwa hizo ma training camp wame connect na mashule zenye zinataka students the athletics so what they normally do our uh, students wakishapata wa coach wanakimbia alafu wana record a video wanaona their time alafu now the coach can now choose wasemo wanataka this and this and kind of a student so it depends na bd mwa mwanafunzi but ideally most of them wanapeana 80 to 90% scholarship So most of the time yeah but the problem the problem shida moja tu niko nayo na athletic scholarship they don't they are not flexible with the programs they dictate the programs and you unafanya au hizi kukubalia kufanya 
program kama kama nursing ile intensive by the time wanakukubalia unafanya program intensive ujua wanakufund first year na second year that year ukiingia program wanakuacha wanakuacha eh yeah. so they will want to dictate the kind of program yenye unafanya wanakupea hizo ma program yenye wanajua hata uki graduate haitakusaidia sana that's the problem na utakuwa hmm? available utakuwa available ikifika ni time ya ya, ya kukimbia so that's the problem you and your shortcomings are isoma scholarship that's the shortcomings but if they could be flexible ya kwa unaweza fanya program unataka that's okay yeah, yeah. Mm. We, ni, ni hard sana ukuwe kama mkimbiaji alafu uingie medicine ni ngumu uwezi toboa trust me uwezi toboa between shule kuna ma programs zenye hata even my program it was very hard uwezi toboa kukimbia na hiyo utachimba mbaya sana yeah mm Yeah. So nikuulize acha nikuulize swali. Ju niko na niko na jamaa hapa alikuja Amerika. Amekuja mm. Amerika na ameenda community college ya uko Ocha. Haina funding. Hiyo ulikuwa naongelelea. So what Jama I will tell na amefika na amefika bila amefika kama wewe vile ulifika lakini hana pesa. So na shule, shule ina demand nini alipe? So kitu ya kwanza nyinyi mimi nitaambia mtu kama huyo atafuta university yenye iko affiliated na empower empower Una... empower loans okay atafuta university yenye iko affiliated na empower and then a... explain explain empower ni nini kuna watu hawajui empower oh empower ni the i think it is the only finance uh, 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 organization yenye inapea loans international students without asking for a guarantor ndio hiyo that's what uh, empower is so hiyo empower itakupea loan hata before ukiwa Kenya bora umeshapata i20 unaanza ku apply nona so hawahitaji hawahitaji nini hawahitaji eh hawahitaji hawahitaji eh, a consigner wanaita consigner huku garanta wanaitwa consigner unajua mm-hmm. most of the loans in america kama wewe ni international student wanaitaka, wanataka garanta eh wanataka uko na <coughs> consigner but hii haitaji consigner no consigner apply for no consigner loans yes Ah. So that's the only advantage ya ya, ya empower. So mimi naweza ambia mtu kama huyo uh-huh. let him apply for a serious program. Cuz empower uh-huh. is kufandia program yenye wanaona itakuwa wasiwasi kwako kupata kazi. Okay. Eh. Yeah. Ambia so, apply a serious STEM program na okay. apply loan ya empower. Empower itamgonga pesa yote. Alafu ata, at that point ataweza kunini ataweza eh anaweza ku eh ingawa inaumiza inaumiza interest yao ni double utalipa you know that mm. Mm. eh <coughs> interest yao ni double but mimi najua watu wengi wa benefit na empower so what i can tell hata UND is an affiliate of empower so you can apply for any university kuna universities mingi zenye empower ni affiliated So I apply and then you apply the loan ya empower empower itampea conditional approval after that you pay acceptance. Na sasa the problem wase huwa wana misuse empower. Unajua empower inafanyanga hivi. Mhm. Unaweza sema situation fees ni ngapi? Unaweza tuition fees to say ni 25,000 per year. So mse anaweza sema nataka 40. So what empower will do waki approve your 40 wanagonga shule 25 the rest wana debit kwa account yako mse bwana eh eh well, sasa hiyo hey, umeingizwa kwa trap ingine mbaya sana wana debit <laughs> unachukia tu ngiri 15 imeingia kwa account eh <laughs> watu wanaanza sherehe <laughs> eh na ujue hii pesa utalipia na unalipia bwana eh na unalipia na interest kubwa kuliko eh so mse anakuwa ana na sherehe bwana eh ananunua mtu unanunua gari very expensive 
unasema ah sasa hii apartment imekuwa ndogo na huko unaona ikiwa ndogo jana unaona wewe si ndio au ndio anaenda kujenga nini nyumbani eh ameangusha magorofa na empower loan eh <laughs> 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 Ni heri ni yongusha gorofa na fafsa. Nyinyi wenye muko na magreen card hata mimi nikiweza pewa hiyo fafsa ya Marekani siweze spare. Unaona? Eh by the way najua watu wengi sana wameangusha magorofa nyumbani na fafsa. Hiyo <coughs> fafsa ndio unaweza but sasa hii uh-huh. empao atakuhanda hadi mtaani. In fact hao wase wanakurun credit kama uko CRB Kenya usijaribu empao. Wanajua bwana Hawezi jivita. Eh. Wa, wame connect na Nova Credit yenye iko Kenya. Hiyo <laughs> Nova yenye ina, ina, ina run hapo Marekani. So mm-hmm. they connect wanakuambia kama u, they need to check your credit history in your country. Wanakuitisha ID ya Kenya. So, so if kama before apply empower make sure ume clear kwanza CRB. Kama ulikuwa maana hizo ma loans za matala na ma branch u clear kwanza na ma mshwari kwa hizo ndio zinaweza kukuangusha bure unyimwe 50k juu ya loan ya 2000 nyumbani <laughs> ulikula ulikula uka, ulikula mshwari ukapotea eh <laughs> na watu wa help Ayu. na wasee wa help mm hata yeah. help sio sana help by yekange watu CRB hizo nyumbani hizo loan hizo credit ndogo ndogo hizo hizi za yeah, yeah. mm Ah so mwambie empower ni one of the options anaweza tu Yes empower ni one of the options another option uh-huh. another option he can be able to atoke huko penye yako Ako hapa Marekani so atoke huko atafute shule penye wase wako anaweza enda huko Texas aende Iowa unaona aende hizo ma states zenye wase wako alafu akifika huko watamchanua Alafu une ju unaweza unaweza transfer semester kwanza ama hapana ju lazima si lazima umalize one academic year mm, si lazima iko one academic year you yeah. can unaona what you do is bora umekuwa enrolled kwa hiyo university nyi huko you start applying for school to another university immediately okay until you go approved admission you go approved eh upata i20 ya huko so you can transfer your service yende ile shule so you can go even the second semester Ah, okay. Mm. Mm. Ah. So yeah. yai, juna hii na, na hii semester kwanza hauna kitu, hauna. Eh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> so uh, hii ya kwanza hii itabidi yeah. avumilie akae hapo. Eh. Yeah. Mm. Ya pili sasa ndio anaweza ku transfer. Aingie ni nini? Mm. Uh, uh. Okay, okay. Okay. So na na ume, so umesoma umemaliza shule. Yeah. Tuwa, kuongelele nini post graduation alafu pia ukiangalia kama utaki oh. kurudi kama utaki kurudi kwenye okay so the first thing yenye mimi naambia watu mm. eh dogo okay so so mm. ndio pigeni pigeni like bana pigeni like najua ndio mnaamuka piga like ndio unaamuka najua Kenya Kenya nimewaamsha leo. Leo nimewaamsha asubuhi na mapema. Piga piga like uta uta utachangamka, utachangamka. Kiproper atusaidia na na very good information alafu atatupatia maze mahali tunaweza find watu wako na ma. Okay. Na mm-hmm. So uh, the first thing yeye naweza sema Mhm. Yeye naweza anza ni shule ukiwa hiyo shule nyoko let me i'll still go back to UND okay bila mimi nilikuwa UND every semester UND wanaunda vitu inaitwa career fair eh mm-hmm. the that's one nilikuwa nakwambia advantage ya kuenda university kubwa hiyo career fair <clears throat> makampuni kutoka Minnesota Montana North Dakota zote hizo mm-hmm. makampuni kubwa kubwa zinakuja mm-hmm. wana hold career fair tunaenda hapo kwa kuna kuna stadium kubwa hapo inaitwa Lara Center tunaenda hapo una connect na my employer mm-hmm. so we niambie 
employer amekuona the first semester ume attend your career fair the second semester wanakuja tena bado wanakuona the third semester bado wanakuona by the time uko mm-hmm. 2 years hapo umeshasekiwa kazi mm-hmm. unaongojea ku graduate so mimi niliutilize hizo career fair sana nilikiti ya kwanza mimi nilikuwa na, naunda resume nilikuwa naendanga shule huko UND wako na department ya kuunda tu inaitwa guidings na maneno na makaria unaenda hapo mm-hmm. wanakuchongea resume wanakuonyesha wanakuproofreadia na wanakuambia vile unafaa kuandika resume so free of charge, free of charge. Free of charge. so kuna, kuna jinsi ya kuandika resume muache hii 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 hi, hi, maneno ya kuandika resume mimi nikiwa nikitoka Kenya nilikuwa naandika resume na eka Christian oh eh, date of birth who give us nani ana ajali hizo vitu napenda swimming na bike ride <laughs> <laughs> so uh-huh. mimi naweza sema hivi your chances of success inaansanga once ushajua ya kuwa unaenda degree gani na kama umeshajua unaenda degree gani as in which path are you taking unaanza kutafuta makazi when you are still in campus anza ku apply my job kama uko campus by the time unamaliza ku apply una graduate umeshapata kazi mm-hmm. yeah so mimi what i did is i used to identify potential employers so wakikuja kwa hiyo career fair i identify potential employers na unakuwa specific chenye unataka Mimi I used to go there and I explain myself I am an international student once I graduate I will need a, a sponsorship Wengine watakutupa wengine watakukubali Hivyo ndio iko Wengine watakwambia for now we don't sponsor international students Una move on So that's what I used to do Mm Those are, that's what I used to do So pole pole tu hapo una una keep in contact with them So <clears throat> Mimi by the time nilikuwa clinicals nilipata job before ni graduate. Eh. Nilikuwa nimepata kazi before ni graduate. So even the you so you create a connection na employers. Okay. <coughs> Ulipata <coughs> job na one of the, one of the nini? Uh, you when walikuwa wanakuja. wanakuja. Eh. Yeah. Essential walikuwa wanakujanga most of the time. Na wanataka watu. Na wanataka watu. Kwanza kaa saa hii essential wanataka watu. Yeah. Wanataka watu sana especially mm-hmm. north dakota hey wanataka watu sana <clears throat> north dakota na hii side yote wingi ya minnesota hadi wisconsin wanataka mm-hmm. watu yeah. so hiyo ndio kitu ya maana so what i can say is kama umeshajua career yako ni gani anza ku identify potential fields zenye unaweza fanya kazi kama mimi nilikuwa najua kwanza kama medical lab lazima nipite licensing kuna licensing board yetu inaitwa American Society of Clinical Pathology lazima upite upate hiyo SCP certification after umeshapata SCP certification then now the employer can go ahead and see you are serious ah. so hiyo certificate tunafanya after ku graduate yes yes okay. after ume graduate tu hivi mimi nilibuku mtihani yangu two weeks after graduation usikae kae sana ukikae kae sana utasahau na utachimba So mimi nilikaa tu two weeks after graduation nili graduate eh, ilikuwa May ikishaisha nikafanya mtihani yangu June 14 this year nikapita that nilienda hata nikafanyia fago ah okay mm. so ongelea na, lakini ulikuwa tayari ushapata ushapata kazi umesikia eh kazi ilikuwa yeah kazi but my employer needed me to have the license before i i start working ah mm. Mm tuongelele nini tuongelele uh, optional practical training opt hiyo opt okay uambie watu kwa sababu wengine wana confuse mtu anasema nimemaliza shule lazima nikuwe na h1b ndio nifanye opt no naweza fanya opt so <coughs> so what i can say is this yeah? kuna vitu tatu kuna cpt kuna uh, pre opt na post opt okay So CPT ni curriculum practical training. Hiyo unapewa na shule. Hiyo hata iendangi immigration. CPT ni hiyo yenye unaenda kufu, eh, that you are required to work off campus 
because it is required by your program completion your program attachment ni kama class ni kama class ya internship yes so hiyo ndio mimi nilikuwa kuanzia january hadi <coughs> hadi may this okay. year nikiwa my clinicals hiyo inaitwa cpt okay eh yeah. cuz au lipwi sisi cpt yetu ni, ni non paid au lipwi unaenda unafanya kazi hospitali lakini ulipwi kitu so okay. immigration hata wajalingi na hiyo so what they do una unaongea na international office sijui inategemea na policy ya university kaya yangu mimi international office iliongea na my program wakaambia department program yangu wakasema mimi nafaa kuenda for attachment na wakaniendosia kwa i20 pale nyuma cpt okay wanaendosa hapo kwa i20 cpt na wanaweka duration na employer so after hapo ukiwa kwa attachment so kama ushajua graduation date yako ni lini so you can start applying for opt opt ni hiyo yenye unapewa work permit ya kufanya kazi after graduation so na hiyo opt most of the time ni you can apply opt eh, bora sio 90 before before 90 days after graduate Be, before we apply opt kama 90 eh, ndasema aje 3 months before, before your graduation before graduate una yes. so ikifika umemaliza 3 months ndio una apply kwa eh ndio unaweza apply so oh, mimi apply mimi let me say this i was graduating may but mimi li apply opt yangu march mhm nona mm -hmm. nili apply opt yangu march i remember nili submit opt yangu march or february kisha isha na nikapata opt within two weeks ah na opt waambie una apply wapi opt but sasa kwa hiyo opt you have to indicate ni lini unaanza kutumia hiyo 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 kadi hiyo kadi mm -hmm. eh so uwezi anza kusema una graduate tarehe 20 na unataka kuanza kutumia opt before graduate you have to indicate useme kama mimi yangu mimi nilindicate na opt yangu ianza tarehe 12 mwezi wa sita. okay cause nilikuwa najua by between mwezi wa sita nitakuwa nishamaliza kufanya license na nitakuwa nimeanza job mm -hmm. na nitakuwa na kazi so you have to really make sure ya kuwa hiyo opt ni una apply ukuwe sure ya kuwa within after hiyo tarehe ni ume indicate 60 days after that hiyo day uko umeshapata job umeshapata kazi because if 60 days itaisha after hiyo tarehe ni ume indicate opt imeanza ni kuchomoka jamhuri Yeah, mm. yeah ni ku, ni kwenda nyumbani you are supposed to leave or you will be out of status yeah ni automatic yeah. so or or your 60 days ikiisha before you graduate you can apply for masters program or kama wewe ulikuwa uh, ulikuwa associate you can apply for undergraduate unarudi unarudi kwa an active uh, full time student yeah Na so either ulikuwa. you go back to school Uh, when the uh, upata job ama worked vitu zingine ufanya other things yeah. maybe upatane na mtu uoe upate mubaba ufanye nini hizo vitu hizo yeah, eh yeah. ufanye tu other means ulikuwa umeongelelea hiyo ingine hiyo pre pre a pre opt inakuanga ya wase wenye wanakuanga <laughs> under j1 visa sana sana ni wase wenye wako j1 cuz mimi sijawaona f1 akiwa pre opt cuz ukipewa pre opt inamaanisha ya kuwa umesoma some for some few years kidogo uka ukapata uh, work permit ukaenda ukafanya kazi then uka, na ujua opt is only legible once for each academic level people should know that uweze tema uko na associate degree umefanya opt ya associate degree umemaliza unataka kwenda degree nyingine na ni bado ni the same level no so kama ulipata opt ya associate degree then ndio uko eligible for opt nyingine unaenda degree undergraduate ukule opt ya hiyo uende masters ukule opt ya hiyo uende phd phd eh but uwezi rudi nyuma Yeah, yeah. So that's the, the immigration have made it very clear. Very clear about it. Yeah, so that is it about OPT. So <clears throat> unapewa hiyo work permit, ni hiyo wase wanaitanga work permit, eh, employment yeah. authorization. So yeah. ukipewa hiyo employment authorization, unatafuta kazi, unaanza kuchapa job. 
So this is where uh, things get funny. Wase when you wako stem wanapewa OPT the first 12 months and then unaweza extend for the next 24 months. So you understand stem. Mm -hmm. Wase we wale wengine kama wewe huko stem unapewa ya one year. So what does that mean? Within one year you have to figure out ya kuwa hii mwaka mmoja nyenye nafanya kazi hapa naanza ku figure out vile unaweza badilisha status yako. So unaweza badilisha into green card, unaweza badilisha into H H1B. H1B. Eh. Ama EB pia. No. So mm -hmm. that's that's one thing. So na stem hiki tu watu wameniulizanga sana. Wameniulizanga stem majors ni gani? I need you guys nataka uh, ni kuonyeshe uh, stem majors from DHS department no watu waone hiyo wasione kitu ingine stem majors from uh, department of homeland security wamepeana vizuri a very good list designated stem ah hmm? uh, ni nini kwa kwa site ya nini nataka uingie u type 2 STEM majors DHS. Alafu kuna link hapo utaona hapo. Ndio tujue ndio watu wajue STEM ni gani. Department of Formal and Security wacha ni share hapa. STEM list. STEM STEM designated list. Kuna 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 kitu yenye US wanatumia inaitwa CIP code. Unaona CIP code inakuanga kwa hiyo I20. Yes. So scroll hapo chini. Yeah, hiyo CIP code inakuanga kwa I20. So ukiona I20 yako inaanza na 01 ujui hiyo ni science hivyo. So hizo ndio ma stem list. Uki, uki scroll hivyo chini. So yangu ilikuwa CIP code 51. Ukienda hadi chini Yangu ni 51. Yako ni 51. Eh, 51, 1.005. Teramuka chini kabisa. Bado uko 003. Stem ni mingi. Yeah, stem ni mingi. Yeah. Watu nitawakea hii nini. Listi mekua kubwa mbaka imenini. Oh. <laughs> Panda ju. Nimekuwa kubwa mpaka imepotea. Ndio hiyo. Sasa yangu ni 511005. Teremka chini tu kidogo. Kwa ju ju. Uh, yeah. no. 50 eh ndio hiyo. Yes, Clinical Laboratory Science Medical Technologies. Yeah, hiyo. So that was my major. So stem ni mingi. So unaweza wapea watu hiyo list ndio wajua ujue stem ya. So ukitaka kujua unaona tu kwa I20 hapo kuna program code na inaandikwa anga hapo vizuri. So kama wewe unajua uko stem ni 3 years. Mm -hmm. Unapewa wa permit ya 3 years. Kama wewe ni non stem unapewa ya 12 months. Yeah. Hapo mwaka mmoja. Yes. Ujipange. Yeah. Ah, nitawapatia nitawapatia hiyo link kwa nini? Eh, yeah. cheki. Cheki. Ah, very nice. Very... Eh. Umechanua watu na information mingi. Yes. So, hivyo ndio iko. So, hiyo CIP code ndio unatumia ndio ujue kama course yako ni STEM ama sio STEM. So, what I normally say, usingoje hata ufikirie OPT we ni STEM ama ni ini anzanga immediately ku, kuambia your employer mm -hmm. anze kukusaidia because immigration in the US is tough na ina take time unaona yeah yeah ina take time so if kama you can as soon as possible unaweza ambia employer wako akusaidie that is better that is better mm umesema CIP na kuanga kwa I20 yeah Ukifung, ukiwana tu I20 yeyote, yeah. inakuanga hapo. 
Kama yangu ilikuwa ya kitambo. Eh? Najaribu kuangalia nini yangu. Okay, acha nikutumia i20 yangu uone ndio watu waweze kuona. Let me send you via WhatsApp. Oh, nimeiona, nimeiona hapa. Yangu general studies ni ilikuwa 240102. Exactly. So ukiweza ona hapo uweze pata hiyo 24. Hiyo yeah. <laughs> sasa? Yeah. So hiyo 24 ina designate the, the field of study. Ah. Eh, yeah. hao wazungu usicheze waliandika hivi vitu wakajua bwana. Wako wako hivi wanajua ni. Eh? Wako eh, hivi. waliandika hivi vitu wakaketi chini. They know what they are, they are doing. Ah. So unasema watu wa stem by the way stem inakuwa very favorable in the yeah. ways kwa sababu ukikompare miaka tatu ya kuji ya kuji prepare versus mwaka mmoja kama wewe kama wewe hata kama wewe ni mjinga ina gani within three years utakuwa umeshindwa miaka tatu na unafanya kazi full time hiyo sasa utakuwa umeshindwa kubadilisha kweli ku prove to that employer that you are worth kubaki hapo yeah yeah, yeah. Eh. so <clears throat> It's easy. So another thing nilitaka kukuuzia ni H1B inakuanga into two classifications. Kuna H1B yenye inaingia lottery. Na watu wasikie vizuri sana. Yeah. Kuna yenye inaingia lottery na kuna ile H1B yenye inaitwa cap exempt. Cap exempt H1B. So if kama unatafuta kazi na we unataka kupata <coughs> kupata green card haraka through H1B. Eh? Mm-hmm. Tafuta zile organizations zenye ni non-profit. Non-profit na governmental. Non-profit ospi, eh, eh, non-profit organizations ama academia. Universities zote zinakuanga cap exempt. That's why unaonanga ma lecturer wanaingianga tu. Mm-hmm. Ma professor wengi wanaingia H1B zao tu zinaingianga through direct. Aingiange lottery. Yeah. Yes. So kaa wewe ni cap exempt aingi lottery. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Wambia, so, wambia watu hiyo nini? Hiyo lottery kwa sababu unajua hiyo lottery sana inachezangwa na watu wa India. India <laughs> wanajazanga hiyo kitu. Si wewe uliona <laughs> juzi vile Canada walifungua work permit zao. Walifungua tu yani within 30 minutes. Eh, within 24 hours. Hakuna tw- ilikuwa 20,000 ama ilikuwa ngapi? Yes. Ivo tu zimejaa hivi. Wa, wa, Waindi wamesoma. Unapata muindi yako na hadi 3 PhDs. Yeah. Wewe utakompita aje? Na wako na zile nini za huko technology? Zile vitu very No manoma. Marketable. Yaani <laughs> So so sahi wa Waindi hata ukiona ukienda kwa USCIS eh, priority time zao ni karibu ma 2030. Yeah. Kupata Sabaki. green card ya EB2 na EB3 uwezi pa, utatoa wapi hiyo chance? But sisi Kenya bado tuko safe eh? Wamekuwa wengi. Na unajua sasa yes. hiyo inafikanga mahali kama mahali Nigeria walifika wakakudisqualify hiyo. Yes. Give the lottery. Mhm. Hey, wewe unajua mimi niliangalia, niliangalia statistics za hit and B. Hii mwaka mwaka walikuwa wameangalia siju ilikuwa 2020. Kulikuwa na watu karibu 400,000 wali apply H1B. Mhm. Unajua ni wangapi wa India walikuwa wameapply? Yes. 330,000. Yes. So unaona? Au au wengine 70 ni dunia mzima. Eh. Yeah. So no. Indians Indians ndio wame 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 hii wa, backlog yenye UCS India wakiamua ku pull out siku moja hizo application zote. Vitu zitafungulika mbaya sana. Hiyo yeah. backlog yenye UCS inakuanga naye ni Wahindi. <laughs> inakuwa Wahindi. Ah, yeah. Wahindi bana. Yes. So so, mean, so what i was saying is ukipata hiyo non profit mm-hmm. non profit wakikufaile inatoa within one month aipitange hata one month within one month umepata h1b ah. yeah na, the good thing with h1b it's a dual intent visa dual intent is what you can change to another status to green card yeah. as yeah. easy yeah. Yeah. anything yes unaweza kuwa na intent ya kuingia ama mm hapa America ama kurudi hakuna kama uende yeah it's a dual intent so that's the good thing na H1B so na hiyo H1B unapewa 3 years and then another 3 years and in that 3 years the good thing na H1B if you can work in America for 5 years with H1B you are eligible to do ujifailie peke yako green card you know that eh yeah. yep. si lazima hata uko na employer so 
So there are many ways, but you don't have to wait because most of the employers come on Meshapata H1B, one answer immediately kufanya palm your na department of labor. Meshapata your palm wana submit I140. Ukipata I140 wanaenda na uh, ikisha I140 ikisha ingiana wanaenda hiyo 485 na unapenya. So that's the process. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Lakini ambia watu nini? Ambia watu wakipata hizi opportunity kama za STEM. Ukipata uh, hii opportunity ya H1B <coughs> una impress employer. Mm. Unaenda pale unafanya kazi kama kitu kingine. Yes, ukishapata hiyo please make sure una <coughs> you just have to stick usionyeshe any op, eh, chances ya kuwa yati uko na interest na kuingine. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Tumeasimu, tumeasimu like st- what is stem stem ni science technology engineering and mathematics yes eh hey, ilikuwa bana eh hey, uko na very good information kuna nani chapa alikuwa na chapa alikuwa anauliza nini alikuwa anasema eh uh, i'm a man Una... in the usa as an international student lakini we life ain't easy <laughs> anasema chapa eh juko upande gani eh <laughs> On the other side my advice would be uh, just be confident personally i forgot my ds on 60 at home eh chapa leo na ongelea mambo ya nini chapa uko uko side gani uko side ya hii nini wewe yeah sio mchezo the journey in this hapa uh, marekani sio mchezo yeah yeah mm-hmm. Wana, wana, wana the journey is uh, you have to have information and what i can tell you is please when mtu akikupea information double check usikuwe mtu wa kusikia tu na kufanya ingia internet kila kitu iko internet hapa marekani ingia internet na uone kama ni ukweli umekuambia many people have been misled because of just the first hand information yenye mtu anasikia and you act on it without even verifying it. Hmm? Yeah, so please verify information yote yenye mtu anakuambia yeah. so that eh uh, uko ujue ya kuwa you are in the right track. Yeah. Mm. Usichukulie face value. Yeah, usichukue tu face value vile iko. Jiangalilie mwenyewe. Eh, yeah, uangalie and then uh, <clears throat> utakuwa sawa. But eh uh, it's not easy. It's not easy. Eh, watu watu wamependa sana nini wamependa sana mm. keep wanasema mzuri sana sasa ile swali watu wanaweza kuwa nayo unajua sasa hii watu watu ndio wanaenda kuamuka watakuja wamepata bana wame miss a very this was a very eh hey, this was a very kumbe ingekuwa weekend tungefanya weekend ingekuwa mzuri siko hey. kuna hii si mara ya kwanza najua tutanini yeah we will break down pole pole hmm. pole pole tu juu hmm. ime meninia tu lakini kuna vitu mingi sana tunaweza yeah. so we can tunaweza we can break down hii tumefanya j- a very long information yenye ni yenye yeah. it's uh, cumbersome to compress yeah yeah mm. watu wakitaka watu wakitaka kukufind out uh, kunini wakitaka kuona information umefanya wa kufollow youtube or follow platform See, gani I, I haven't created my youtube channel but need to create soon but for now i have some videos ni me post tiktok okay unaeka eh kiprop leon unaweza you can follow me on tiktok ni meeka kiprop leon i have a lot of ni meeka some content there yenye okay. nimejaribu ku break down some processes na nime break down vitu na mavisa <clears throat> na information about shule Yeah but soon uh, nataka nitafungua pia mimi my YouTube alafu nita transfer hizo content zote zikuje yeah, zikuje kwa YouTube because YouTube ni long term fanya hivyo maze fanya hivyo kwa sababu uko na uko na very good information yes yeah yes. mm. ya yeah, 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 student na hiyo na ni kitu umepitia iko fresh iko mm. fresh kwa ajili ya simekwambia mimi hata mambo ya 4 plus 1 nimekuja kujulia Leo. Yeah, so if wewe unajua mtu, ah another thing. I think hiyo tutaguzia siku nyingine maneno ya employment. Sasa hii kama wewe ni mtu umesomea healthcare na uko Kenya. Mm-hmm. Uko na degree na umesomea healthcare. Sio healthcare peke yake. Eh hata hizo ma professions za engineering 
na we unaona kabisa ya kuwa unaweza andika resume yako vizuri you can get employment directly from Kenya na ukuje na H1B so it is very possible so America is really hungry for employers especially nursing wase wa lab kama mimi um, wase wa CNA hata CNA siku hizi wanakuja na H1B by the way Yeah. Kuna kampuni hapo inaitwa MedPro, kuna ingine inaitwa Avant, kuna ingine inaitwa I don't know jina yake. <clears throat> Wanapeana ma interview. Na the thing ni ukwe tu umefanya hiyo NCLEX ya nursing, kwetu ya lab lazima ukwe umefanya hiyo SCP na uko na degree, unachomoka unakuja. Directly. You don't have even to go to school anymore. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Kuna nini hizo hizo stem stem by the way stem na kama uko Kenya unatuona saa hii unafikiria ni degree gani ufanye uh, stem by the way kama you will ni... never go wrong in Kenya yes utaambiwa oh hii utafanya una kazi lakini trust me with the science major za kutoka we will never go wrong yeah itakusaidia sana one day one time mm. very true very true yeah Yeah. kwa sababu scholarship za stem ni mingi yes Advantage and another thing when you are in stem mm-hmm. kama umemaliza degree Kenya na uko stem you can apply for a phd directly you don't need a masters to cut a phd program in the us nilifanya video hapo tiktok niliambia watu wako wanajua you can get a phd bora umeandika a very good statement of purpose unapata admission unasoma bure phd ni free very free unapewa tuition waiver unakuja una, una unachapa uh, your phd it's very possible it is very possible ma nigeria wanafanya hivyo all throughout und sasa hii ma nigeria ni hivi department ya mining and engineering petroleum engineering ni hivi ni hivyo wameja kiprobu unajua nilikuwa nilikuwa north dakota sasa ile oil ilikuja ika break ona sasa eh <laughs> Kuna watu yani North Dakota aki ulikuwa nasikia umenunua kanyumba alafu wamepata oil kwa nyumba yako unakuwa millionaire. Saa hii hiyo yeah. department ya mining and uh, petroleum engineering UND yeah. iko funding noma sana. Pesa juu pesa ni mi, pesa. Yeah. Ni, ile pesa North Dakota imetengeneza ni mingi na oil. Saa hii North Dakota saa is one of the richest states by the way. It's very rich. So mimi naambia watu mtafute kuna hizo opportunities ziko. So hizo ma degrees zenye watu wanaonanga ni useless Kenya. They are very ah, important huko. Very. very mm. eh, yeah. Na utarudi nyuma. Unaona uwezi rudi nyuma. Kama mm. yule yako by the way, wewe tu umeongezea tu mwaka moja umepata. Mm. Eh. Hivyo tu. Alafu tena sasa nimepata profession nyingine tena. Nikipata nikimalizana na makaratasi nataka niende profession nyingine. Kuna ingine sasa tena nimepata. Eh, Yenye sasa unaongezea kitu kidogo ingine na unaenda high grade. Unaenda. So pole pole. Eh, huku huku wako na wako na kuna vi, uku, it's just kujituma information iko kila kitu iko ni wewe tu kujituma. Yeah. Yeah. Very true. Very true. Yeah. Very true. Yeah. Watu wanasema nini bana? Watu wanasema wewe ni content cartel. <laughs> the Uber Sport Show. <laughs> very good. Very. Nani anauliza nini? What is uh, what is your TikTok name? Wacha ni Kiprop Leon. Wacha ni kupinia. Eh, Kiprop Leon ndio hiyo. Wacha ni kupinie hapo. Eh. Leon yes. ni ongeza umeongeza tu juu ama Leon ni jina yangu naitwa Leonard. Oh, oh. oh. Eh. Ah yes. Yeah. Fiti sana maze mimi nime nimeshukuru mm. sana hata nikuni najua sasa hii kunaenda 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 sa- kwa nini. Kwa hiyo ni 840 najua pia wewe Masai imesonga sana. Imesonga yeah. Yeah, yeah the yeah. good thing is naenda kazi kesho ma saa tatu hivi so Simba. Ah. I'll be good. Nimeshukuru sana by the way na hii yeah. imekuwa kwa very nice very nice man. Yeah. So we'll keep we'll keep doing this. Yeah bana. So <clears throat> Hivi ukipata nafasi tutafanya tena tu tuchanue watu. Chanue watu bana. Watu watu wanakuja hapa wana mm. struggle yao na na, na nini na mambo mm. ya shule. Yeah. Final, final remarks tutaambia watu. 
So final remarks yenye mimi naweza waambia ni you uh, the best thing yenye mimi naweza waambia ni make internet your friend. Nikisema internet your friend isikuwe ni kuingia tu Facebook. Yes, social media is okay but try to search information in the internet. It will really give you a lot of informa- information. Information iko internet. Wewe na hiyo simu yako. Mi actually actually acha niwaambie. Si kutumia agent yeyote. Si kutumia anybody. Mimi nilikuja vile nilikuja. I never asked for anybody any information. Nilipata information yote ilikuwa internet. So don't stress yourself ukijaribu ku, ku, kuuliza watu oh huyu jamaa atake kunisaidia kuniambia nini. Most of the people won't give you the such kind of information yetu nawape hapa. People mm-hmm. most of the people don't know and because of that arrogance that ataki kukuambia ajui atakulenga. Mm-hmm. Ukweli ama uongo bro? Ukweli, nimesema ukweli. Most of the people hapa Marekani hawajui most of the guys hata wenye walikuja hapa they don't know how they they got here. And because of that arrogance ataki ku, <clears throat> ku show that they are that naive watakulenga ama watakuambia they are busy and all those stuff. But to save yourself from such kind of embarrassment tafuta information tu iko internet pole pole make internet your friend na utaangalia vitu mingi zenye hata uwezo kwa unajua so what i can say is find information for yourself na it will really help you squeeze the world is connected and uwezo uh, kwa frustrated bure kwa kutopata information so that's what i can say mm. Mm. yeah shukran sana ndugu maze na shukuru yeah. Mm. you have a good night na najua tutaendelea aya sawa tutaendelea aya so sawa eh shukran sana shukran sana bro i have a good night aya fiti fiti eh wadau umesikia hii session najua watu najua watu watu sahi ndio wamelala muda but hii session ilikuwa ilikuwa very informative bana ilikuwa informative itakuwa saved itakuwa saved kwa kwa nini ukienda kwa youtube utaweza ona from beginning to the end eh the reason napenda huyu jamani kwa sababu unajua ni hard saingine unapata hapa ndio ni ukweli unapata mtu ndio alikuja kama student but but haku nini uh, hana hana information haezi yeka information in 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 so uh, shukran sana maze eh, usitoke kama uja maze piga like piga like share share hii video eh, na shukuru sana maze na eh Asanteni sana kwa nini? Asanteni sana kwa kwa support yenu. Watu wa green card by the way video yenu na ndawafanyia. Nawafanyia very soon video ya kuapply eh, DV lottery. Nawaletea pia nawaletea pia nini mse mse one of our people the Kenyan American Home Funds tulianza gana yeye maze na saa hii amefika amefika Dallas, amefika Dallas Texas. Ndawapigia by the way hii mwezi tu, hii mwezi tu naenda Texas. Naenda tukae na yeye upige content maze ndio ujue kama uko hapo tu Kenya unaniona maze eh god atafungua kamlango na utajipata hapa utajipata hapa maze si hivyo watu wangu until next time eh maze mbarikiweni sana na ni hivyo kamenyuria eh fitiman fitiman